nice to see everyone. Uh, let's hop into this game. So I was, you got something came near ML Larry came down. Who knows, right? Right. Let's see. If I remember what time of day is. It? It's night, and I basically need more birch, but I have a lot of that, so we could sleep here. But I don't think I want to. I want to head out right away. Yeah. Let's see what it's like outside. Uh, I think I would like to... Okay, it's barely cold, that's great. I understand a bit. I would like to go to... Spencer's farm as possible, because... Um, I think there's a couple of birch trees there. So while it's warmish, let's do that. How many torches do I have? Enough. I might switch to torches in a sec. It's kind of like a soft Nogoa playing Birch only, because you want to minimize the damage you take from all the other sources, particularly cold. Um, fatigue and hunger isn't that big a deal. Let's check something else. Go hack, so alright. I smell a bit, so I need to be a bit careful here. There's also a carcass there, isn't there? That I could maybe harvest. Who else loves berry? <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the thousand bits, uh, Kings the Slimer. Thank you so much. Actually, I didn't hear the sound for that. Why did that not work? Uh, it didn't come up like the noise for it. That's weird. The actual animation came up, but not there anything else. Let me just quickly check that. That's a bit weird. Uh, Lead box. Uh, hmm. I don't know. That's strange. Yeah, no sound alert. It should be, though. This is a test bit alert. Oh, yeah. Like the actual sound doesn't show up, just the um, just the thing isn't why. Let me see if I can uh, change it. Um, give me a sec, because it's a bit. Remove audio and then select audio file. Oh, sorry. And I stopped this stuff. Category. I like the bits thing. Am I blind? Why is it not? I don't know. I think we just have to sort out another time. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's uh, something's wrong with it. This is a test bit alert. Yeah. Oh, uh, it will just have to be silent. But what you write, at least, is, is read out. How nice. But anyway, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, uh, Kings the Slimer, and 100 from, from Lady. Thank you so much. And hello, everyone. Um, right, let's get back to the game. I, I don't know why it's not making the actual noise. That's a bit weird. Should have tested that before the stream. But I do see it here. Wait, wasn't there a carcass here? Did that disappear already? Oh, well. Here it is, yeah. So because it's fairly warm, I think I'm actually going to harvest this carcass. Because I want the uh, hide and stuff. So let's do that. But it's going to take a little while. Unless I heat it up first. So we can we can heat it up first, why not? Are you only testing? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I can make some more teas. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Soplo. Next Nogo will be out probably tomorrow. Oops. Hype train is close. Come on, little fire. Come on. 
<laughs> yeah. It's an interesting challenge. I often don't do challenges like these because there are so many of them. And I don't think they are that interesting. But this one I thought was kind of interesting to see if it was possible. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... How much water do I have? Enough. So I'm going to harvest the, some of these while we wait for this to fall. Yeah, and then we can cook some and keep going. And then I think we're probably, <laughs> probably going to go to Bleak Inlet, I think. Alright, 10 minutes, so we can make two more of these. The wolves shouldn't be an issue. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could harvest the meat, but uh, I just can't eat it. But I don't see the point in doing that. Alright, it's almost forward. Make a difference just faster. Oh, a hive train started. Wait, some more people cheered. Uh, DH Dunn cheered 100 bits to start a hive train. Oh, thank you so much. That's too kind. I'm sorry the sound doesn't work. I don't know why. I did went. I went to the settings now, and uh, it seemed normal. But for some reason, there's no sound for the bits. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I might need to make some water actually because I only use a lot. Uh, okay. You can definitely have another sleep to recover health, but we don't really need to. So. Barry! <laughs> yeah, Evergreen, yeah, it's definitely is possible, it seems. Oops, I messed it up, I think. It was slightly too early, yeah. Got anything else to do? I'm missing one there. We can refill this. Let's drop that. Refill this. There we go. Oh wow. Let's <laughs> uh, drop that. Right, yeah, it's for you, not the same. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you, DH done. I appreciate that. That one is great. How is meat for housing skill? Cook the meat for cooking skill. Use the wolf bait for easy escapes. It is a win-win. Yeah, but I'm not going to touch the meat at all. Alright, so how long does this take? It takes uh 40 minutes, so let's do this then. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to do this. One liter. Burn some sticks. And then we'll harvest this. Cindy, thank you for the subscription. So that one worked. This, the subscriptions have the sound. Must be something wrong with this. the bits then. The way you don't hear the ding noise. But at least the text-to-speech works. I would, I would say no is pretty cool. Uh, but thank you for the subscription, uh, Cindy. Thank you for that. Yeah, I need to actually do some crafting to get the knife because it will make things a lot easier. And these I these take would, I would say no 30 way. minutes. Uh, thank you for following uh, Noah, Noah, Noel, and Summer Gemini. Thank you so much for the 300 bits. I have to manually catch the bits since there's no sound, so I'm sorry. If I do miss any, just like poke me. Uh, let's see, we can do this also. And we're gonna do this one more time, but this time we'll do this and this. Nice clear sky. We'll do one of these. Ah, oh, thanks Cindy, I appreciate it. Alright, let's get out of here, but before we do... Let's drop all the teas, just in case I need to use one, which I don't think I do, but just in case. Hey, it's nice and clear, how about that? How lovely. Yeah, I can get rid of it. Um, the unsafe water. But it's basically this that. There we go. <laughs> this is because I cancelled, so there was a little bit. Three minutes. All right, let's grab some torches then. Terrible torch, but look at the stacking noise of these teas. Thanks for all the great content. 
Thank you, uh, Kirk Stephen. For the for the hundred bits. All right, let's go. Oh, we got a raid coming. Slid hole almost with Raider 3. Thank you. Thank you for the raid, Slid. Hope your. Um, okay, three stinks now. Hope your stream went well while you're playing Nogala. Uh, I want you to check out. Uh, thank you, lady, you're on top with the shout outs. We should check out Slid. He does a lot of uh, Nogala runs. So if you don't want to wait for my episodes, you can check him out. Next Nogala episode will be out probably tomorrow. Right, so what I want to do is I want to head to the forge, dump a little bit of coal. I think there's a couple of birch there, and then we're going to head to Bleak Inlet. Oh, Dead World Run, nice. 101. Okay, then you're close to the record. I think the, the longest uh, is 106, I think. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure if this is safe. No, it's not. Okay, now we're taking the long way around. I think it's 106. Is this safe? I don't think it is. Nope. There we go. Um, how are you looking with it, Slid Holmes? Oh, did did uh, it's okay. Last time I spoke to her, she had like eighty eight, but she did say she gave up on it, so she would have gone longer if she could be bothered. So one hundred sixty might be true. Uh, in one point in time, I had the world record in that, but it was like day thirty six or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but that's ages ago. No, I haven't tried it since. Well, I started one, but I gave up on it. That will is in interesting. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, Ocelot had one at 106, but I haven't paid attention since then, so maybe the, uh, he has done better. I don't really know. So, whoever watches the people who do Dead World, they'll they'll know. I don't know what the record is if it's not 106. But Dead World is Dead World is a fun challenge because it's kind of like Nagoa. But slightly less punishing in terms of uh, condition loss. But since there is no, there are no predators, it forces you to explore. It's a dead world is actually a great way to um, to learn the maps because you have to loot everything. I have lots of food left. Okay, that's great. Yeah, okay, Hive Train success. Thank you so much for that. Hope you all got some emotes. I said zero subs, but there was one sub. Look at this wolf. He's heading straight towards me. There he comes. Let's just get rid of him right away. But I smell, you see. Leading towards maybe going to Larry's cave right away. We'll see. I think it's closer. Yeah, I think we'll go to Larry's cave first, I think. condition drop on food when they are heated I don't think so uh, I never tried so I don't I don't think so thanks I master and start using your headphones when playing you know just start doing it thanks it's, it's a completely different world of sound changes a lot you can hear the wolf arm yeah that's right you really should play the long dark with a headset I know it's a casual relaxing experience on console especially you're sitting there and it's relaxing <laughs> Well, with the headphones on, you can hear so much more. It's much easier to detect predators, especially. Whew. Sure, getting cold. 
It sure is. We might need to warm up actually. Make a little fire. Although we're not going that far. Um, but maybe we'll make one fire just to warm up a bit. <clears throat> uh, the fatigue is not filling up because I'm Do hungry. I, if I don't warm up soon. And so the fatigue is reduced. Think of it as burning fat cells or something like that. There's a wolfie. Let's get rid of the wolf first. Oh, the torch is still blowing. Get rid of this guy too. He gave up by himself. So I'll make a little fire here just to warm up and then we'll head to the cave and I think we're going to rest fire. there possibly without eating just to recover some health. Perfect. Yeah, let's do two pieces of coal because there's more in there. Oh, this wolf. This wolf has bugged out. He's kind of bugged out. Yeah, I play a lot of PUBG with my friends. I have, I have uh, barely more hours in the Long Dark than PUBG. PUBG I have close, I think I have 900 hours. And the Long Dark I have 1,500 or something. Yeah, the charging thing usually works uh, unless you're heavy and don't have enough momentum. Because he's giving <laughs> the wolf to play again. This wolf is just acting weird. I think he's, the wolf is actually going for the bait and he's getting deterred by this, I think. We need to find this. And this. And this, yeah. Alright, let's uh let's just heat these ones up. I don't think we need to drink any of them. But just in case, let's just do it. And we can start grabbing some more of these. Let's get good torches only this time. Hey, go away, will you? You're being you're being annoying. That's a good torch. I think we are warm enough. Look, oh, that's a bad torch. Let's get another good one. That's all right. And there come the small wolves. Hopefully this won't blow out. If it does, I think I have one uh, flare. Okay. Yeah, don't forget my guy. I did forget some wolf hides in Ash Canyon. So in Ash Canyon, there's now a wolf hide curing there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of different custom versions uh, in the Long Dark you can do that are quite fun. Like Endless Night, um, you know, Gun Loper, Keg Stand and stuff. Hey, Mr. Acorn Man, how are you doing? Hello. Let's check out this blind over here too. What's the wind chill at the moment? 13. <clears throat> I think we're gonna go to the Larry's cave first and then to Bleak Inlet and then back. Because I think I'm gonna sleep in the bed in the cave. Really, whoops lady. <laughs> Yes, uh, Hopeless Rescue is a fun challenge. Most of the challenges are fun, so with the DLC content that the Hinterland is planning on making, I hope they make um, more challenges, because they're quite fun to do. You know, you don't really gain anything from them as such. I'm going to drink, I think, one tea, just to avoid some more condition loss. 
And that's it. Oh yeah, how's Rand doing? He's doing a speed run of that too. I don't think I can sprint across this, I have to go around. <laughs> yeah, actually, if there's anyone in chat, I'll just mention this now, I'll make an announcement later. But if there's anyone in chat who uh, don't play Loper, but play Voyager and Stalker, and I would like to try Interloper for uh, an experiment I'm doing, send me a message on, on Discord. Especially if you stream or have a YouTube, because then it's... I can promote you while I'm at it. Ah oh, damn, I thought I could go over there. Look at this wolf. Should be able to come across here. He just beat his record. Oh nice, that's awesome. What did, do you remember the time that he got? Because he's been trying to beat it. My record I think is... 5 hours 24, I think it is. I think that's my record. I could stream uh, a speedrun of uh, Hunted, but uh, my impression of my viewers is that most people are not interested in stream runs, speedruns, rather. Because whenever I release speedrun videos or stream it, usually fewer people watch it. But it's something that's fun to do now and then though. 6 hours 60 minutes, that's very good, very nice. Oh, that's good, lady. <laughs> right, I'm going to scare off this wolf once I get to cover over here. Because um, I don't cold. want this to blow out. So here we are, high blind. Get to cover. And then we'll scare this wolf away. Go away. Why are you going that way? Go away. <laughs> I mostly want to check this for... Oh, yeah, this is never going to be used. Can't really read in this challenge. Uh, we'll take this. Oh, Polaroid. Take that. Take this, I guess, and this. Alright, let's head to the Bleak Inlet Cave. Let's also get rid of this wolf. It's in our way. We're going to take some cold damage here. But that's okay. Okay. He bugged out a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the thing that's boring about speedruns is that if you want a really good time and if you want to beat records in speedrunning, you have to do it so many times. You have to kind of grind it. And I don't find that particularly fun. So you just go in and you you do the you do the speed you do the run and then oh you know you had bad RNG you know the wind was bad or uh, coffee didn't spawn or you got five stims instead of eight or whatever right so there's a certain RNG uh, randomness element to it which means you have to repeat it, and even if you don't get that, you you might make some minor mistakes. But because of that, whenever I do speedruns of challenges, I usually just do it until I get a time that I'm happy with, and then that's it. I can't face doing the, the grind. I just want to see if this is possible to get up. I've never tried this, no. Alright, we'll go on this side then, because I can't run. <laughs> So I, I think it's fun to do a speedrun of the challenges in the long dark, but I don't like grinding them. I think that's a bit boring. So doing it now and then is fine. All the time gets very tiring. And now certain challenges are more fun than others. Hopeless Rescue is kind of fun. Hunter is fun. And Dark Walk is alright. I probably will do a Acid at Sleep speedrun again. Uh, but I think that's about it. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. At least I hope not. 360 quick scope. <laughs> right, this is very, very slow progression here, but um, that's all right. And I think we're gonna sleep in this cave over here in Bleak, in, in Larry's cave, as I call it. <laughs> yeah, I tried that once, as I cried, and it didn't really work out. Also, you have, need to have sensitivity on your mouse for that. So here we are. So now I've kind of been to most of the areas that have birch, like major birch. And I need to now find the areas that have some birch in it. Like a little bit. I know there's a little bit over by... By the farm, Spencer's farm. So I might go there. But the reason I'm going to Bleak Inlet is they have a little birch forest there too. So I'm going to go and try and get the birch there. I'm not going to drink any of the birch tea I have until necessary. I like, I might sleep now and drink a couple, but not full night sleep. I'm happy to take 10% damage or something uh, while sleeping. But first, let's get inside. And this is going very, very slowly because we're against the wind, we're heavy, and we basically had to cross the entire map to get here. Yeah, something like that. You need to... I'm not sure how much I will drink. I think I'd like to have it so it reaches three hours. So that would be... Drink three of them, I think. Let's see if Larry is home. Larry is kind of a rare rabbit. We don't really see him very often. On my main run, I've only seen him three times, I think. But it's not like I go and check very often either. But whenever I am here, I do check. And I'm also going to drop some stuff to cure here. Oh yeah, you can collect the cattail heads, there's no problem. I just haven't done it much, except at the beginning. You can collect the stalks too, you just can't eat them. <laughs> Let's see here. So here's the cave to Bleak Inlet. I think I'm going to rest in here, at least for a little while. Let's see if we can grab a coal or two. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. And then we're gonna drop uh, our stuff to cure, like right here. Because we don't need these. Then we're gonna see if Larry's home and get to that bed. I mean, I do have a bedroll now, so I can sleep wherever. But I'm gonna sleep in a found bed. Larry? No Larry today. He's probably sleeping somewhere. In the middle of the night, so. Well, late at night. And I don't want to smell at all while going for the spurge. Especially because, uh. I would, I would say Norway is pretty cool. Because of the wolves. Thank you for the follow, Jen. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I'm going to sleep a bit to recover some stamina because I'm walking very, very slow and it's a bit boring. And I'd like to recover some, some stuff. So we're going to sleep over here. And I think I will sleep for at least three hours. So I'm going to drink a few teas, but not a ton. I'm going to have three of them. So let's drink one. Then I need to wait a tiny bit. Drink another one, and then I think that's it. No, I mean one more, sorry. And there we go. 
Uh, it is possible, yeah, to go inside a rock. So that's three hours, that's the multiplier that I want. But I'm going to sleep, I think, six hours. So I regain, regain some health first, but then I'm going to lose it. All right. I still have... Okay, that, that uh, ended. This is fine, I think. I might even sleep a bit longer, but not right now. Maybe... No, we can sleep if I don't longer so later, so. I think. Maybe actually sleep one more hour. Because I want to be able to go out. Uh, yeah, there are certain places in the game where you can go out of bounds and inside rocks and stuff. There are, there's a few places like that. They are not, they are, don't serve much use. But for example, in the Hopeless Rescue speedrun, you can go out of bounds in Tim Wolf Mountain. And um, there's a rock that you can go into. Green Flare. Gotta get sleep, Zach. Continued luck with your run, and I'll catch you again soon. Take care, everyone. <laughs> thank you, lady. Have a good night, and thank you for the 100 bits and all the other bits. Hope you sleep well, and thank you for everything. Hey, it's Pixelated Peach. Pixelated Peach made an artwork of me with crows. That's fun. I'm actually making a video about crows. I'll be out soon. I have finished it, but I need to change some things. I have finally figured out what the crows do. I have completed that puzzle. <coughs> um, what if there was a chat? Uh, what if long they said in the summer? One are cold in the winter, yeah, quite. Uh, hey, Zach, I have my best girl here for a bit or two, so just look. Watch the stream later. Yeah, no worries, Pam. Thank you. Hey, Nez. I wouldn't be too surprised if it's uh, if a future game they have has seasons. Hey, thank you so much for the 20 bits, Soplo. All right, so here we are in Bleak Inlet, one of the worst places in the world because it's so cold. There is a wolf carcass here though, which I do want. But before I go for that, I want to see if there is a birch uh, to collect over here. And I'm hoping, unusually, that there isn't a moose here. You can find a moose. And I don't want Timberwolves either. But they don't usually come this close. Although it does happen. Yeah, Firewatch is a great game. Yeah, no worries. So, so, uh, bits are kind of like donations. And I think if you give a hundred bits and then write a text, it will read it out. Uh, or more. I think it's that's how it works. Firewatch is a great game. You should play it if you haven't. It's it's very similar to Long Dark in style and feeling. But not so much else. It's not a survival game. Okay, let's check this out. Um... Thank you, Undercover Jedi, for the um, for the follow. But if you're undercover, I want you to reveal that you are undercover with that name. <laughs> There's the moose over there. All right, that's the moose. You can have three moose in Big Inlet. They will all spawn irrespective of each other. So here's the little birch forest that I wanted. There isn't much else to do here in Bleak Inlet. I'm mostly coming for just this and one other thing. And then that's it. Oh, there must be more birch. There's one over there I can see. Where else though? Thank you for the 30 bits as well, Coplo. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm missing some chat. I'm just scanning. I'll catch up after. I just want to make sure I get all of these. Yeah, that's right. Firewatch is a story game, and 
not survival. There, there, there's not even a survival element in it. It's a great story though and good voice acting. Once you've played it once though, uh, you probably won't play it again. It's one of those games you only play it once. You know, maybe I'll play it again one day just to see. But uh, more or less, once you've played it, it's uh, it's over. Well, I guess that's it. I didn't see any other ones. Let's head back here and harvest the wolf as well. Okay. So there's one more thing here in Bleak Inlet before we go. Uh, I don't think there's more birch. There might be some scattered around. I don't really see any in the distance, but there might be some them all somewhere but there isn't really anything for us to to do here as such uh, it, and it's very very cold in bleak and I, I, I think it's the coldest region in the game so whenever I go here usually I don't bother staying warm I just bring protection but in any case um, we don't really have anything to do other than loot for items which I'm not gonna do because of the timber walls but there is a wolf carcass here that I'm going to harvest because I want the hide. So we're going to grab that. And we're cold, so we might as well utilize that. This is one of these ravaged wolf carcasses you can find. Yeah, use that, why not? Giant birches. Yeah, I did find one that was alright. Um. Oh, are you going to stream the Navely Native Challenge soon too? Uh, I'm not doing the Navely Native Challenge, no. But thank you. I was asked to do it, but I don't really have time. I don't stream very often. Uh, lately I've been streaming more than, than usual, which has been fun. Um, but uh, I don't think I'm going to stream uh, that, no. Let's just drop these, we don't need them. Okay, how many can we make? We can make a few. How much water? We got a lot. I'm tempted to just do this, to be honest. Because I don't really need the other stuff. Let's just do it. Yeah, there we go. I don't think I'm gonna get the guts, or am I? I guess I could make... I could get one of the guts. Just one. Howdy, everyone. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We had enough of Bleak Inlet. <laughs> um, do you think the Tim Wolves preyed on the wolf and that's why it's dead? <laughs> Yeah, it's weird actually because there are no normal wolves in in, in Bleak Inlet. It's it's a bit interesting because the only other area you find timber wolves is in Blackrock, and Blackrock has both normal wolves and timber wolves, but Bleak Inlet only has timber wolves. So where did this normal wolf come from? <laughs> you know, it probably did get eaten by timber wolves or something. All right. We got chewed out the ecosystem, exactly. Let me ch check down here quickly. Was that where I came from? No, oh, it was where I came from. Okay. Let's grab the coal, uh, which I'm not going to carry You're all of this coal. This gear. I'm going to take it to the um, farm and drop some of it there. And I could actually maybe even forge because I need the knife. I'm not too bothered about... Do I actually have the hammer though? No, I don't have the hammer. Um, I have found one, but I didn't bring it. I left it behind. Um, but I would like the knife. I could forge somewhere else though. I would like the knife because it will speed up harvesting of the carcasses. Just for the stuff, you know. Beginner has fl that's true, uh, Brad. That's a good point. There are no normal wolves, but it, it, you do have Fluffy. That's true. That, that is a normal wolf. So I suppose, suppose I have to correct my statement. <laughs> Beginner has no normal wolves in the wild, but I do have Fluffy. That's true. 
Alright, let's get out of here. The Ravage Wolf is the devil's explanation as to why there aren't any normal wolves. Oh really, is that something they've actually said? I don't remember reading that. <laughs> I'm tempted to sleep, but it's actually going to be quite warm now. Let me check down here quick as well. I have too much coal, really. My health is doing fine. Uh, I am Norwegian, Alvin. Uh, I've never seen any other Norwegians stream. Except there is a Twitch streamer called uh, Who's Kalman or Hus Huskerman. I'm not sure what his preferred pronunciation is. He used to stream the Long Dark, and he was he was quite fun. A lot of us hang out in this stream, but then he disappeared for a long period of time. But he did recently start streaming again a few weeks or a couple months ago. Um, I don't think he streams the Long Dark anymore. And then every now and then I see Norwegian streamers try out the game but they're always playing story mode and they also play the game in Norwegian which is like some of the Norwegian names in this game is just they, they don't even make sense all right so I'm gonna leave I think I'm gonna leave this here go and drop off coal and stuff um, and then come back here I think is what I'm gonna do yeah so I also want to see how much birch there is by the farm, because I think there's a little bit of birch by the farm. Let's head there now. Oh, I see, big slowly pitch. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't know, there, there can be a moose spawn here as well. I've only ever seen it once. But usually in Fallen Mask, the, the moose will be uh, either in Edge March, no, or whatever that area is called. I can never remember. I always call it Edge March, but it calls March March Ridge or something like that. But it can also be here, and it can also be in the Northwest. And there's the wolf. Gonna ignore this wolf. If, if Timberwolf uh, are <laughs> also grey wolves are normal, or separate normal, what kind of wolves are they then? Well, they are Timberwolves. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I understand the question. <laughs> ah, nice to meet you, Alan. There aren't that many Scandinavians who stream this game or play this game in content. So who's Huskerman does it sometimes. Uh, there's a Swedish guy called... Oh, what's his name? I follow him and I see him sometimes. <laughs> what? I forgot his name now. And Guntek is Swedish. <sighs> Don't think there's any... Well, there's Wild Dane also. I guess. <laughs> uh, Red Dead Norwegian are the happiest per nationality. Uh, I think that's true. That's why I read too. Thank you, Country Roads, for the subscription for four months. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, I have no clue. Uh, I don't know if they have explained the, you know, the breed of wolves, but I would just, just call them, you know, it could be forest wolves and or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but there is. Yeah, hey, well then, yeah, I was just saying, uh, <laughs> what Scandinavian streamers there are since you're a wild Dane, you know. How does Norway feel? It's always the same as usual. Always very laid back, I guess. But there is another one. It's a Swedish streamer. He begins with F. Oh, is it Failed, Failed Alloy? I think his name is. He's Swedish as well. That has another carcass as well. Okay, let's see here what we got. There can be a hacksaw here as well, which we don't really need, but let's check it out. Uh, nothing here. We got, looks like quality tools, which we can. This will come in handy. Guess we can take it. And I like to have a look around. 
Get some scrap metal. And wood. And I guess that's about it. We'll check out the farm. We'll get the matches there. But there also is a carcass here. So I think I'm going to grab that hide as well. Oh, okay. Uh, Norway is, uh, I think I've read also that they're rated the happiest country in the world, but I'm not sure what measurements they use. <laughs> but that's also because Norwegians, I don't know, uh, I think there is a difference between being happy and saying you're happy. And Norwegians will always say that they're happy. Oh, whoops. Um, we need some more tinder. I'm not sure we strictly being need tinder, but... Go. I would guess the tin wolves were supposed to be a rework of wolves supported by the increased model detail, but ta pack tactics made dealing with them and really Come insanely on, hard and they got relegated to ramp up. Uh, could be, but I think they always meant to introduce them. That's why they have it in episode three. Uh, Twitch allows such conversation, but I don't think we're going to get into that uh, now. All right, so let's harvest this. We're going to leave the guts. Because they smell too much. There we go. Now I think there are a couple of birch trees here. Let's find out. Yeah, what Cindy said. In my channel you can... You can always speak your mind, like not, no topic is censored, you know. But uh, it's more whether it's appropriate, you know, it's not the right place to talk about those things. <clears throat> oh, there's another cox over there. I have to go that way out. I could swear that I remember seeing a birch tree. Yes, there we are. Here's a birch tree. So let's see. I and my uh, my Twitch the vibe like you can talk about whatever. But uh, Harry, welcome to talk about any kind of. Um, philosophical things or societal things but I think things like politics and religion generally speaking doesn't go not because I'm for or against any particular stance but because it's not the right forum to talk about it there we are I thought there were other things like you know philosophy or or countries or you know that sort of stuff that's fine Okay, there were two whole birch box there. Okay, so now I know that. I don't see any other birch though. So I think that was actually it. Sometimes there's a backpack over here, so let's just check that. Yeah, there is a backpack. Uh, do you think they'll add any new types of animals to new DLC? Yeah, I think so. I think eventually they're going they're gonna add all sorts of things. When they start the DLCs, they'll add like a challenge, they'll add a map, they'll add an item, they'll add an animal, you know, like the they always talked about adding the cougar. Uh, so uh, they probably no, will no add way, an animal. Cool. No reason other types of grey wolves, and most likely will be Great Plains grey wolves. Yeah, I don't know if they fought it that thoroughly. I think they are just placeholder wolves, I think. Let's get the match. These matches are always here. If you uh, ever come here. Yeah. I will make a Fallen Musk spawn video one day, but uh, if you come here, they'll always be right here. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, let's see. Oh, ski jacket. That could be useful. Uh, we don't need this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand, uh, Martin. 
but people are usually are open to talking about different types of philosophies and you know meaning of this and that and so on but when it's religion and politics people always split no matter what let's put this let's put like 16 of these down so i can come back here and uh and we can harvest uh, make some um What should I call it? Um, the knife. But yeah, because I'm also a science professor, you know, I'm... Wait, why did I pick this up? I can't use this. This habit. I'm open for topics like that. Let's see, can I actually reach this? Okay, we have to go around then. Oh, let's also drop, uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's drop this. There we are. I'll leave those. Uh, this. Uh, yeah, this. Oh, sounds like a bad wind is coming. Alright, I'll catch up with chat in a sec. Let me just see what this is. 38 or something? Thirty-nine. And sixteen. And something like that. Uh, seventeen. Thirty-nine seventeen, okay. Give me a wrap. Ah, oh, come on. There we are. Hey, we got the air wrap too. <laughs> Thank you. Need to repair that though. We could actually do that now. Because we need to warm up a bit anyway. I can catch up with chat a bit. I have cloth, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's make a little fire here. Uh, hopefully this won't burn out. Um, uh, yeah, the cougar co I think the cougar would have to be a rare animal, kind of like the moose. And it'd be very hard to kill, like, very, very fast or something. I think that's how that they would have to do that. Um, foxes would be cool. Birds, birds would be nice. Yeah. What was your proudest moment as professor? Uh, probably the time that I fooled the students into thinking I was in Star Wars. I photoshopped a picture from Phantom Menace and told them I was in it, and everyone bought it. It was like an April Fool's thing, and I revealed it in a quiz. And right, we'll take this with us. This is worse, we'll leave this. We don't need this, let's leave it. Um, <laughs> Yeti. I have researched some animals as well. I have done some animal research, but not a lot. He will there. I did. I wanted an air wrap, and here it is. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, I. F it's very windy. Will this torch blow out? Yeah. Well, I might actually sleep a bit here then. Uh, let's. Uh, let's have a bit of a fire here. Let's sleep here a bit. Sleep for three hours maybe. I'll take the hunger damage. There we go. Sounds like the wind died down. Yeah. It's foggy though. Mm, 
That's alright, I guess. I guess that's alright. How are we doing with torches? We don't have that many. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, chat's talking about the animal dad. Okay, so I think that's good enough. I think I'll take that and leave the rest. Uh, I think I could leave the... I don't think we really need this for anything. So I'm just going to leave this here. Ah, let's go. Well, because I want to harvest this deer that's over here. And then we're going to head back into Bleak Inlet. The cave, I mean. Maybe sleep some more. And then we're out of here. And then I'm not sure exactly where to go. Um, maybe Coastal Highway? What day is it? Eight. Maybe the birch just respawned, I don't know. When I'm choosing to drink the teas, um, whenever my health is low, like 40%, 30%, something like that. <laughs> yeah, you can get a mod that allows you to craft all sorts of things on the inside layer. But um, I don't know if Hintland will ever add that. If they did, I think it would be something like makeshift socks made from this cloth. That might be added, maybe. Leave that. Alright, I want this carcass that's over here. I left quite a lot of coal behind. I could have taken some more, but that's that's all right. Let's, um, let's see. How long does it take to quarter this? Can I even quarter it? Yeah, I can. Let's just try that out. But we don't need the meat, so. Ah, oh, this again. Should have grabbed some cattails uh, heads. But I forgot. Quality of sleep on location, bed and so on. Come yeah, on. that could Come be on. something. Can they kind of have that already. There are certain... Uh, how well you sleep in the long dark depends on the Perfect. type of bed you sleep in. Whether it's a actual bed or a bedroll, for example. Yeah. And let's put another stick on it. And let's try and quarter this. Ah, it's frozen, so I can't. Alright, well then, never mind that. Do you think that we should be able to harvest cured pelts for leather, given it's pretty limited item, uh, by only getting from harvesting shoes and one type of gloves? You can you can get that, um, Haunted Phoenix, you can get cured leather. You harvest, um, um, I think it's the Moosehide Satchel, you harvest that. And then you get cured leather. I can't feel my hands. Alright. Hey, cargo starting level 2. How nice. Oh, it's actually cold. Very cold. Hmm. Didn't actually warm up, so I actually took cold damage there. That's alright. We're not going far. And then I think we'll sleep with the teas after that, probably. <sighs> Go away, Wolfie. I don't need you right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. I, I think they should be able to make socks with just, you know, makeshift socks. At 1.1 1. 1 degrees, so like sports socks or something. Yeah. And that's it. Is this wolf still following me? Yeah, he is. Okay. Have we got anything here? Let's make a fire, actually, after we scare the wolf off to warm up. I'm gonna lose too much health otherwise. Make a fire. Assuming it doesn't die out, because I didn't put enough heat on there. I thought I put enough heat on there. But I didn't. By the way, Bound Gardener, thank you for the follow. I didn't say when you followed me, but thank you. Uh, raccoons, oh, cougars, bear. foxes, otters, grizzly bears, caribou, wolverines, birds, and walruses. Oh, all of those are great. Perfect. Alright, let's put on this to warm up a bit. And then we will do some crafting too. Alright, so let's do some crafting. We found some more of these. Let's warm up, shall we? And let's see... Maybe we can just make... this. How many birch teas do I have now? I think I need to lay down. I wanna head to the cave in Bleak Inlet. Get my stuff. Forty five minutes, sorry. Yeah, we could maybe do that actually. But, um oh we don't have oh, that's fine. Uh let's see. Do I have another stick I can use? I don't really want to use the coal. that and then we can do uh oh, hold on let's repair that for the fun of it no we didn't manage I mean, let's pass a little bit of time then a little bit more all right let's now drop all of this in case we do so oh, no, i got i got 13 so i got a couple to spare but i'd rather not use it if i can avoid it I was reading chat when I housed it the other day there, so I took um, took some cold damage when I really shouldn't have. But that's alright. This isn't no goa. We can get all of it back. Let's set out of here. We're gonna head over here to the bleak inlet cave again. To pick up our pelts. We're basically in pelt farming now, so we can make uh, trousers. That's what we're doing. <laughs> no way. Uh... Uh, I'm not sure whether to sleep or not. I think I might recover some health here because my health is pretty low. So I might go to bed here. Then leave all on Muskig. And head to the dam. And from the dam, let me see. I think when we get to uh, Mystery Lake, we're gonna go via the western side and loot things that are. I think I'm gonna drink teas here and sleep and recover all my health. And then head to Mystery Lake with my stuff and go via the western side to loot Trapper's Cabin and Hunter's Blind and stuff. I just see if I see any birch, because maybe there are pockets of birch there that I just haven't seen. And there are a couple of birch by Trappers, but maybe we can find some there. Oh, 
all this uh, wildlife chat going on. I'm sorry, I'm not really interacting with it. But... I'm gonna sleep anyway, so I don't mind running. So tired, I can lay down right here. Yeah. Don't worry, Astrid. We're gonna get you safe because we're gonna sleep now. I'm gonna drink lots of uh, birch tea. You'll feel right as rain after. Just you wait. I don't know if I need to light another torch because um, My we don't really need to uh. sleep anyway. But do I have a low condition one? Yeah, this one's low. This is one. Alright, so let's do another bulk heal like the way I do it. So we're going to drink a bunch of uh, teas and then heal back up. That's what we're going to do. I don't think I can grab any of these. Uh, maybe I can grab this one. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so we got some more stuff here. That's curing. So let's do the same. Let's drop these two. And then we're going to sleep. But before we do, we're going to now do some management with this. And we need like... 10 of them. I think it's 9 we need, but because of the passing of time uh, it, it mounts to more. We just need to do this rinse and repeat until we have enough to sleep for 10 hours. It's the only form of calories we have. We need... It's 750. Let's see if we can do it with nine, I think. There we go. I think we need to sleep ten, I think we can. There we go. Now I should be alright. Now we should be able to sleep and heal back up. Go. seven days uh, we could sleep some more but I don't think we're going to let's do this I'm actually going to continue healing so now if you see we're gonna get hungry soon but uh, we went up uh, all of this so 55% this time by just drinking that but we are still so this for say five hours so that's you know that's what's that twelve point five percent? Yeah. Call it call it thirteen percent to to be easy. And we are at seventy-nine. So that would be ninety-two percent. But we're gonna be hungry. And that's gonna retract from five. So we're gonna end up on eighty-seven percent, I think. We're gonna be eighty-seven percent. Uh, health at the end of this. Unless I get cold, of course. Ish. Some, something like that. Alright, so uh, we're now going to be attracting wolves for miles. We have to be a bit caref careful. I don't think think there's any birch around here. I think my stomach is eating itself. Uh, but I'm going to check up here though because there is a carcass there. And often there's a snow camp here. Not always though. There's a wolf. I can hear you. Given up there. Do this. Um, so you have medical finals tomorrow. Well, are you starting to become a doctor, Sakurai? Oh, wow. <laughs> so I scared this there into the wolf, but not intentionally. So this counts. So basically, this can happen in this challenge, but only within. 
you know, without planning it. I'm gonna leave this wolf though to eat that. So you can leave me alone. I'm not gonna need anything from it yet. That's like quarter it, of course. First year med student, okay. You'll be fine. You just focus on what you know. And if you're not sure, take a break. And uh, just think about it and come back to it. Don't stress yourself out. Focus on what you know. <laughs> yeah, just think of, of this wolves. <laughs> Yeah, it's, this is basically a vegan type of challenge because people have asked me to do a vegan challenge before. I would, I would say no, and you can easily do that. Hello, uh, Valnero, thank you for the follow. Uh, but this is the same though, because so it's just a harder version of it. So if you can do this, you can also do a vegan challenge. I don't think there's any bird share, but it's usually a carcass up here. Firewatch is a sad story. Yeah, Firewatch is a really interesting story. I quite like it. Uh, we played it in one sitting and it was great, but you know, it's, it's very short. Uh, it's no carcass. It usually is a carcass up here. Let me see. Did I also get. No, I got the Northern Polaroid. Okay, well, that's fine. Do I even have? Yeah, I do have one. <laughs> Let's see. Carcass? Yeah, there is a carcass. Um, I'm not sure if I have Tinder. No, I don't have Tinder. We don't really need to make a fire because we are uh, warm enough. So, yeah, I might just leave yeah. that and just harvest this for the sake of it. It. And I'll light another torch later. Okay, now it's getting colder, but I think I can take one of these. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna really go down here. very often give sprains. Okay, fine, they convinced me. Maybe I'll stream today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go for it, Pixelated Peach. Anyone wants to see Pixelated Peach uh, make art, or maybe play games, uh, check them out. Uh, they made the, um, the crow artwork for me, which was fun. <laughs> I need to have this ready because now it's very likely that a wolf will show up. This little uh, corner here in Polonaski often has loot. Like a little bit of loot is hidden here. It can be a backpack, a soup can or a corpse. Today we have nothing. It's usually right here. And there's nothing else for us here. There's nothing else for us in Folonoski in general right now. So we're just going to head to Trappers, I think, now. And I'm going to leave all this carcass stuff. How much do I have on me, actually? Six and four. Okay, so we can soon make the uh, once they're cured, we can make the deer pants. How long till we leave? Ah, we're gonna leave now. Nothing else for us here. I already collected all the birch. Uh, I'm not gonna go into Broken Railroad. I don't even know if there is birch in Broken Railroad, but I think there is a little bit. But I don't think it's worth the trip. Maybe in the long, long run. I mean, if this becomes an actual run that I do uh, and invest in, which I doubt, but if it is, 
then uh, of course I go eventually because the stims there. That's that's it. Uh, no, on the interloper there's no hatchet. You have to make it. So I have to go forge. I might actually go to the Reich and then forge if I can get the hammer that I left behind. I'm gonna smell to high heaven, so I'm attracting wolves from all over the place, but that's alright. I could make a bow and arrow, but it doesn't really serve any purpose. The only purpose a bow and arrow would be for would be kind of like self-defense, but... Uh, the stress pistol is for that. You could also... You can also use it to scare away predators, I guess. You could shoot at them from a distance and they'll flee. <laughs> uh, you know, um, this game has a has a difficulty setting for everyone. So some people like interlopers, some people like lower ones. Some people have played this game for thousands of hours, and they they can play interloper, but they don't. They just don't like it. They prefer something like Pilgrim. Plenty of food and exploration and stuff. And that's fine, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Some people find interloper too difficult and then they choose other ones. Some people even find interloper too easy and then they do things like no goa. If you do want a challenge that is uh, harder than interloper, but not as annoying and hard as no goa, a good challenge is to do something like outerloper. Outerloper is the same as interloper, but you're not allowed to go indoors. It's quite a good challenge because it forces you to learn areas where you can sleep outdoors and where you can find loot outdoors. So that's something that's quite good. But in any case, there isn't really a right or wrong way to play the game. You just play it however you Did want, I say, really. I hate being cold because I really do. Yeah, we need to head inside. If you want to play it, um an interloper or pilgrim or whatever then either is fine all right here's the birch there's a little bit of birch here i almost went past one there we go i'm gonna get cold soon well that's all right Custom voyage, no oh, guns. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Let's get some more birch. Hey, good, congrats, Cindy. 1,500 days. That's awesome. Good job. I probably will do a stalker run on Interloper one day. No, Interloper. I, on uh, the Long Garp one day. I'm not sure what to do first. There's so many things on my list of things to make. There are some videos I want to make and then there's some gameplay like, uh, you know, regions. I also need to do Fallen Mask Spawn. Um, stuff like that. And then Stalker as well. Let's have this up in case the wolf shows up. Here we're getting a little bit of birch. We can leave Max's stand. There's usually one more birch bark around here somewhere. I don't see any. Sometimes over here, maybe? No. Yes. Yeah, there we go. There's another one. There's actually a birch tree over here. I wonder if there's some bark over here too. I never checked there before. No. And I think there's a birch tree over here. Yeah, there's a birch tree over here. I don't think there's any birch there though. And the same over there, no. Right, well, let's check out quick. I like the interesting challenge. Integral overflow challenge is an interesting one. Challenges take everything you can take if you see it. <laughs> And dump all of the inventory and try to reach. All right, okay. I'm also doing a challenge where I uh, 
collect everything on Interloper and leave it in the garage. It doesn't seem like a small birch. Let's go here. Take it, take it a minute. Yeah, Gunlope is interesting. Some streamers like Athenan have done that, and it's supposed to be quite fun. It's basically Interlope with guns. The only issue is that the ammo is really scarce, you don't get a lot of bullets. I believe it's the whole first way for longest pilgrim run. Yeah, that's right, Cindy. Yeah. I think you are on that uh, leaderboard, that's right. Facebook is a great way to have access to I mean, Facebook is where the um, leaderboards are for survival in the long dark. So. All right, here we are. So let's uh, let's take a moment here, wait for better weather before we go out. Let's start looting. Do some repairs in here. All right, then here. Let's open the safe. It was like twenty four or something. <laughs> Big safe. I would take some coffee, yeah. 21 it was like. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you can cheese it by doing this. It doesn't always work though. Alright, All right, so 21 and then 19. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can speed on this one. Ah, right. oh, I was too fast. I was trying to do it cool. Well, well as fast as speed and luck. It's actually 20. What's the fit? Yeah. Crowbar. Gunpowder. Gunpowder we can take. The pry bar we don't need. Right. Uh, let's actually, while it's the light, do some repairs. Because this one is better once it's repaired, I think. Yeah, it is. And it's lighter too. Barely, but it is lighter. Let's try and repair that. Yeah, you can harvest probably well, that's right. Okay, uh, is anything that's in bad condition? Because then I can put this on. Uh, that's pretty bad condition, yeah. Let's harvest that. I'll repair that rather. Try again. I mean, we're not going to keep this, though. T-shirt is terrible. But for now. Okay, this also could use repairs, but we don't have time for that. We're going to harvest this. And then... That's it. I think we're going to keep moving a bit. The pond. Provided the weather is alright. We're going to stink down and track the bear, but that's okay. We can also do this. And I guess that's it. So let's head out. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's okay. We got not enough teas for another full recovery, but close enough. All right, see you, Amosanger. Thank you for dropping by. Okay. We still have a while to cure. We're going to take all of this with us. And then go. We're gonna basically check for birch, although it's a bit foggy right now. But we're gonna keep moving anyway. You have to be a bit careful because I can't see much. 
I'm gonna have this out for a little bit and then I'm gonna switch to a flare or a torch. Hey Cool K, I'm good, how are you? How are you doing? I think there might be a couple of birch trees up here and to the left. Check that out. Okay, so I think uh, that's not birch. Is, is that meant to be birch? I think actually it is meant to be birch, but I don't see any birch bark though. But I think that down here on the left, I have seen birch before. Maybe there isn't, but there is a sapling here. You have to be a bit careful with the... there's a sapling. With the bear. Because the bear could sneak up on us uh, in this fog and I can't really see much and if the bear attacks me I'm a little bit messed up. So that's why we're going to hug the left wall because we're less likely to attract the bear that way. Don't, generally speaking, you shouldn't travel uh, at night or in fog, when especially not in blizzards, unless you really, really know where you're going. And I know where I'm going, although I don't know all the upper levels by heart, but I've been there before. Uh, I'm mostly going out to see if I can see any birch that's hidden, like at the top or something. So sometimes you'll find saplings and things at the top at these high altitude places. I'm checking them out now. Up here there won't be anything, but I'm still gonna check. This is the edge of the world. I think I would start in the beginning of a blizzard because then the wildlife is still out. I'll wait until the blizzard kicks in. I don't see any birch at all. Didn't check the unknown pond, but that's alright. see if there's any birch at all here. Let's see where this ends up. Yeah, that's the cabin that I was looking for. a little bit before we continue. Uh, ideally uh, I might actually sleep an hour or something because if the fog can clear out it would be better. Hey matches look at that. I'll take it. And I'm gonna take a book or two also. I uh, guess there isn't much else. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem like it. Alright uh, let's do I'm doing a cloth actually. Let's harvest this cloth. And let's actually sleep for like two hours. Go from there. Um, uh, in Mystery Lake, Valera, no, there are unfortunately none. Oh, Aurora, I can't go out then because I don't have a defense against the Aurora wolves, so I can't go out. 
but we just have to wait then. Now in uh, Mr. Lake there are no guaranteed match spawns at all while now at. Uh, you can find the Maglins though. You can find um, You can find this. You'll find this in uh, the camp office, the lookout tower or trappers cabin. So you can do that. Alright, uh, let's do some repairs while we wait. Let's repair this. Because we can't go out in the Aurora. I don't have any kind of defense against it. Uh, no, that's not guaranteed, Sakurai. On lower difficulties, it's very often there though. An interlope is ra very rarely there. But on lower difficulties, you can you can sometimes find it there. Don't think it's guaranteed though. Uh, work boots would be great. How else is low condition? Oh, this is low. Wow, it's not low, but it's low enough. Ah, I see. Uh, in Coastal Highway there is one, well, no, it's in the abandoned lookout tower that's near the mines. You can find it there. Uh, I'm only going to take one book, but I'm going to make another tinder. I think I just have to sleep because I can't risk going out in the Aurora. It's way too risky. I think we have to sleep that. Anything else to repair? Nah. You don't really need these, but that's all right. All right, we just have to sleep then because I can't go out uh, when it's an aurora. It's too way too risky. A yeah, broken railroad, I think, has guaranteed matches in the hunting lodge, and I think that's it. But it's also guaranteed fire striker. But you can also find random ones. I mean, there is something like, I have a list somewhere, but there's like 18 or something guaranteed match spawns or 20 or something. But of course you can find a ton in addition. So you can probably double that. Okay. Before we leave, I have to bring this stuff. Let's make sure I actually pick all of it up. Now we can continue. Oh wait, whoops. What happened there? Why did I... Oh, that, yeah, I leave that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, the Aurora is still out, but it's not active anymore, so we should be okay. Okay, here's a couple birch trees too, but... I didn't go and check the unnamed pond, but I'm not gonna go back for that, so... We're looking now for birch. Oh, look at that. There's a birch tree. So along to Trapper's Cabin, I found like four of them. I haven't found any since. I'm looking for these birch trees to see if I find any bark at all. Single birch tree, okay. Let's also keep a lookout for wolves, because the aurora should be ending now. But the aurora wolves could... Okay, it's a normal wolf now. But we should be fine. There's a birch over there too. Look, there's birch up here. Hi everyone, and hi Sack. First time catching the stream now. Oh, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, here's a load of birch over here. Let's check this out. Let's go up here first. We'll run a bit because the morning is very, very cold. This is one of those areas that we very, very rarely go to in the long dark because it's so out of reach. But you can find actually saplings and stuff up here sometimes. Right now I'm just looking for birch bark. I'm gonna grab a marine flare. Just in case. Anything up here? I don't think you usually find this stuff up here. No. But there's a lot of birch here though, so let's see if we find any bark. Hey, look, there is some. Okay, so this is an area that I did not think of. Starting to feel numb. So there's one. 
two. I don't see any over there, but I saw one up here. One over there, yeah. There's three. There's a backpack that most people don't know about. Maple saplings. There's the backpack. And there's some more birch trees up there, so I'm gonna check out that too. But that's four. Four is great. Oh, sorry, Cindy. That's not fun. <laughs> Were you petting your cat too much? And she got fed up. See any birch up here by these trees? Does not look like a load of birch trees here. Okay, I'm gonna scare off this wolf and warm up a bit. So let's, um, the wind is blowing that way. Be windy, so this side then. Valid, all right, fine. Be like that. Let's put it over here then. We'll warm up a bit. There we go. Go. 15 years old and crying. Ah, yeah, we have an old cat too. She can uh, be like that. Come on, little fire. So this wolf should stop the attack because I'm making the fire. Ah, and she punish you for it. There comes the wolf. He's stopping. I'm gonna scare him off. And off you go. Put a coal on. And we can start by... Now let's actually make two of these half liters. craft these two. The only two we have. Randy! How are you doing, Rand? Hello to you too. Thank you so much for the subscription. How are you doing? How are things with you? Nice to see you. I really say goodbye to my grandma's at cat. 22, wow. I don't think you need an introduction around. I think most people here know you, but hope you're doing well. And let's cook some more teas. Wind is still going kind of strong, which isn't great. Okay, it died down. It's getting foggy now though, but... I have to do more. I do have more. That was it. I'm good, Duran. Thank you. Terrible torch, that's right. So I found one. Oh, except the trappers ones I already knew. So now I found one more. Uh, birch area, so that's good. Well, there's four of them, and that's fantastic. That gave us a few more teas. Let's see if we can find some more. Up here in the hills, though, not much to speak of. Oh, I see. And yeah, my first cat lived until 17. He was he was a great cat. The carrier now is eight. We adopted her from the animal rescue. More birch, but this is a sapling. Let's see if we can find more birch trees. I don't think there's any up here. But there, I know there is a birch sapling at the end of this ridge, so maybe there is a birch tree as well. I think towards the dam. The dam is kind of like our base, I guess. Cream puffs. Oh, that's cute. Creme brulee. Right. 
it's a little bit foggy, but not so foggy that I can't see. I think I'll check out the trailers though. The trailers don't usually have much loot. We'll see. I think the next step is to probably return to Pleasant Valley and that. Maybe go Coastal Highway first. <laughs> I don't see any birch trees here, but I think there is a birch tree at the end of this. Right now, I'm often not that cold when I'm walking about, or cold or even warm, like now. But um, that's also because it's early days, we're on day 10, so the world isn't that cold right now. I think there's some birch up this path up here. Yeah, there's a path up here that people rarely go to. I only go there once every 500 days myself, but... Um, I think there's some birch there, actually. Let's check out. There's another maple, which we don't need. Does the world continue to get cooler after day 50? <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It stops at day 50. I think you can get a mod that turns it off, so it continues getting colder, but not much point to that. Well, in Globe, it's, uh, it gets gradually colder. You, uh, it goes down by, I think it's 20 degrees over the course of... Um, oh, it's not here, it's a bit further up. Over the course of 50 days. And on Stalker, I think it goes down... I think it's 10 degrees. Over the course of 100 days. And I think in Voyager, it's something like also 10 degrees, but over the course of... Is it 300 days? I can't remember exactly. On Pilgrim, I think it doesn't get colder. I can't remember exactly. Yeah, so it basically gets colder every day. Like, half a degree, I guess. Yeah, if you're on day 45, you might as well just assume it's not going to get much colder. Ah, that's the wolfie. Where? Where are you? There they are. Any birds here? No. But I think there is some birds over that way. I'm gonna check that out. They fire on the pilgrim. Oh, okay. Oh, it could be sitting. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I did see a uh, list of it somewhere. I forgot where I saw it, where it said it varied for each difficulty how long it is. But I could be wrong about that. I, I don't play them that often, so... Hey, Corey and Fissel, how are you doing? Nice to see you. How are you? Uh, the wolf was behind the logs. Could grab this cloth, but I don't really need it. All right, let's see if we can find the last of this birch. I think there is some birch there. Much point really to search the, the containers, these ones, because they probably won't have anything I need for the most part. Ooh, black boots. That I do want. Yeah. They're the best shoes you can get on Interloper. They are the best shoes uh, possible to get, other than, uh, you know, the dare boots, of course. On lower difficulties, you can get better ones, you know, the muck locks and, and uh, insulated boots. Yeah, um, I don't know 
the difficult is uh, I'm working on a crow a video about crows where I explain that sometimes we make mistakes because we just take lessons from what people say and that includes things that I say. Sometimes people ask me things and I have never tested it myself so then if that's the case I just go by what I have been told. So I have been told that the world gets colder progressively uh, depending on the difficulty. Um, but it might just be the amount by day 50. I don't know, I never tested, so I, I don't know. Uh, so it's one of those cases where if I haven't tested, I just have to go by what people say, and what people say could be wrong. So here's a birch tree, and I think there are some birch trees up, yeah, up here. I thought so. I wouldn't have remembered this if I wasn't already going here, because I remember this birch tree over there. Because over there, I can actually check now, there's sometimes a birch sapling. So, um, that led me to think that I think there are some birch trees here too. Do crows mean anything? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I had the work with best limited shoes and interlo. Yeah, they just have the best warmth. So if this is repaired, it gives two degrees compared to this, which is one. But the, and they don't weigh much either, and they they are just the best. The work boots are very very good on interlopen. It's the best you can get. There's a birch bark. But uh, insulated boots or mucklucks are better, but you don't get those on interlopen. There's another one, yeah. I'm glad I remembered this. If you had asked me before I set out on this little exploration, I would not have remembered this area. But as I started out and I found that first patch, I suddenly realized that I remember going up here before. This is one of those edges, you know. You very, very rarely go up here. In Mystery Lake, you have all of these edge areas like these that are off the road where there isn't really anything, so people don't really go here. But you tend to get saplings and stuff. I think there's even a corpse there it seems, or a carcass, I didn't remember that. Uh, let's see... Ah, oh, it's, it's a corpse. Okay. Hey, Polaroid! Cool. Uh, but right now I want the bark. Looks like there's one up here. Does the weather change at set times during the day? I feel like I see a pattern of voyage it change during the evening. Oh, that's not a... I don't think there is a pattern to do with that, no. Uh, if I had to guess, it, it does seem to be more clear in the morning, but that could be a coincidence. I'm pretty sure... I, I, I don't know exactly. But I'm pretty sure that the way that the weather works is that it just rolls like the, the game rolls a die every hour or something to see. And I think like major change has a timer. Like I think that for example if it's clear if it's a blizzard and then it changes to clear, I don't think it become can come a blizzard again like right away. I think it needs like a little cooldown. But it can change to heavy wind or whatever. But I don't know, I never I never tested it. But my impression is that that's kind of how it works. So if a blizzard ends and you go outside in a house this then you probably won't run into a blizzard again anytime immediately. But you might run into fog or something like that. Alright, so we got some well right, we got five from this. Five birch, so that's good to know. So then here, there's actually quite a bit of birch in Mystery Lake. There were four by trappers, four in that little region up there, five here. Uh, so that's 13. There was one by that little plateau, so that's 14. And then you have the little area here by the dam. So there's actually quite a bit of Mystery Lake, like mm, probably 16 to 20. That's pretty good. Hmm. Good to know. Permanent blizzard challenge. I think that has been done. Uh, but the problem with permanent blizzard challenge is you kind of have to... It's very limited what you can do in terms of hunting. You kind of 
kind of have to... Uh, I don't know exactly how that would work. Alright, it's warm enough that I think I'm just going to harvest this carcass. And hope for the best. So we've done a good loop now. I'm just going to drop this here and grab this. Not cold enough, so I'm still going to do this too, because I'm actually warming up now. Hey, it's even clear. How about that? We can even grab this one then. We're actually warming up. Always take advantage of the weather. Alright, let's see if the um if the birch here has respawned, which I don't think it has. Oh birch there. Moose? No, good. Alright, we got some birch here. Yeah. I don't know if I missed it or respawned, but I think this may have respawned. In which case, there comes the wolf. It's very windy. I might have to use this marine flare. That's alright. Well, I could go this way. Just lure it around like this. Hey, Pute Newt. I don't think there's any birch bark here. No? No, I didn't think so. The wolf could still go this way though, but we have to be a bit careful here. Don't see any more birch bark. There he is, now he's gonna come for me right away. Ah, oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. I have to go towards the wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. yeah. And that's it. If he comes too close, I'm using this flare. And we're gonna walk the dog. And I think that's it. I wonder if it's worth checking the ravine quickly. We might actually go and check the ravine, because I think I want to go to Coastal Highway next to see if I can find some birch there, which will be interesting. I should have maybe picked up a rope somewhere, but well. And I could have gone down to the ravine itself, but I forgot. But first we're going to drop our stuff in here. So I recommend a customer that's hard interloper and is not no gorg. I kind of bored of interloper. Interloper with health change. Uh, uh, I would recommend um, put, put no go on. Get the code from Nagawa, and then you add, um, oh wait, let's close this gate. And then you go in the settings and you change it to health regeneration low, rather than none. And then I think that's it. And then fishing on if it's not off already. And try that. I'm actually warming up still, so I'm gonna go for this. How's Alencia doing? I've never heard that name before. I started watching a video, now I think I'm going to use that name in one of my novels for sure. <laughs> oh, you might have just ask her about that. Uh, but that's cool. That's a cool. I think she just thought of it on the fly. She's uh, doing well. Yeah. She's playing Overwatch right now. At least I think she is. Do this too. All right, lots of guts, which is good. She is sometimes in the chat, but I don't think she's, I think she's playing Overwatch right now. Yeah, that's the thing, Asdead Sleep doesn't have deer or rabbits, so. 
All right, so let's, uh, let's sort this out a bit. Look at all these hides we got now. Quite a lot. So we gotta put main base uh, loads. Oops, loads of their height next to the wolf height. Loads of guts. Misk Thank you for the follow, Wookie Woo. No, it's not. It's not a real name. No. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna put a few things in here. I need to repair this. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Put this in here. I might do some repairs. I don't think we need this right now. We don't need all of these. Two is fine. Put one of these in here too. I guess that's it. Alright, let's do... I want to harvest these. Oh, don't get thirsty. I think actually I might get thirsty doing this. Well, as that sleep doesn't have a code, it's a challenge. That man, uh, I don't remember the code. It's similar to Nogoa, but you can find it. Uh, we'll try repairing. I'm not sure that's worth repairing. I'm going to repair this, though. Uh, we don't have to have a knife, I don't think, but I do need to make one anyway. So Let's put these in. We'll repair the shoes another time. I think I don't want to bring this with me. All right. How many teas? Uh, nine. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think this is good. We can leave some matches in here too. We have a lot of matches. Good enough. All right. And then what we're gonna do? We're gonna check the uh, ravine. Now we don't smell anymore and we're lighter, how about that? The next time we come back here we can make some stuff. We can't make the wolf coat though until we find... I think the wolf is four, isn't it? Yeah, we need one more wolf for that. Uh, there is a wolf carcass, I think in the cave to Blackrock. And there's also one in Hashra Valley. We need to go there too. But I think we're going to go to Ravine first now to see if the birch has respawned. When was I in Ravine? Uh, really? Doesn't say. Guess here. Yeah, okay. Well, then we'll see. Yeah, right, so let's see you into the lungs. Uh, let's see if uh, it is possible. Let's see if any of the birds has respawned. And even if it hasn't, I'm gonna go through here to go to Coastal Highway and see what birch I can find there. I don't think I'm gonna go to Desolation Point unless, um, Unless I find the hammer. Ah, uh, because then I'll forge the forge the knife. Now I'll go back here and I'll check out the tower, see if the hammer's there. Uh I think maybe it was in the dam though and I missed it. Anyway, let's see if this birch. Yes, there is some. One, two, and this is like four days later, five days later. 
See what we can find. Quite cold though. Yeah, I, I've done. I've never actually fallen off the bridge, but I have fallen off the the uh, in ravine once by accident. <laughs> Quite a, quite a bit of birds just respawned in just five days. But we really should be going back then next to the um, Birch Forest and Pleasant Valley then. That probably should all be uh, respawned by now. Because it's a lot, even longer since I was there. I think Autobob is one of those things I love it. I use it all the time, especially when heavy. Uh, you do have to remember you're using it though, otherwise <laughs> you can walk off, but it was added as an accessibility function to avoid too heavy holding and clicking, but I use it all the time, I think it's great. Okay, I don't even need any more guts and things, but if I find deer carcasses that I can reasonably grab, I will grab that. Same with the wolf carcass, but the wolf carcasses... As far as I know, I have found all the wolf carcasses now. Except there is one, sometimes two, in HRV. Um, and there's also... I think they added one. In the cave from uh, Team of Mountain to Bleak Inlet. Not Bleak Inlet, Black Rock. I think you can find up to six, but I don't think we can make more than one wolf coat and then just maintain it for a little while and that's it. Hey Blades, how are you doing? Nice to see you. How, how are you doing? How's your run going? I saw you started a new run today. Was that new no goa or was it uh, my run, the, the, the experiment thing? Okay, we're warming up in cover, that's good. We can warm up a little bit in this cave and then continue. Oh, we could also sleep here, whoops. Yeah, finding quite a bit here, that's great. I think there should be maybe one more. Doing good for house the It's hard to put the other run uh, aside. Too many steams used to make fire in the days. Oh, I see. Wait, why is this so dark? What's going on with that? Feels like night is coming. Ah, nice. Yeah, gosh, I couldn't see anything. This is one dark cave. Right, I'm gonna warm up here a little bit and make some teas. Well, this. <laughs> All right, pixel. I'm just gonna do this to warm up. I think. Let's just make as many of these as we can. It's gonna get colder now, though, but still fine. I think. I don't know. Don't think I'm gonna make a fire here. Might make it further up though. But yeah, we got. Was that nine? Plus we can make another eleven. So we have, um, we have twenty teas now. Two two sit sittings of recovery. That's fine. How's the challenge going? I was always wanted to try this one. Yeah, this is, it's going quite well as you can see. We're on day ten. I think it's ten. Yeah. And it's fine, I got 20 T's. <laughs> um, it's all about moving uh, about this challenge. You need to know where the birch is and go for it. And for me, this has been... I don't usually do these kind of challenges because I don't really think the game is that fun when you do something that is harder 
Like harder doesn't necessarily mean more fun, for me at least. But there are a few exceptions, and this is one of them. I always wanted to try this one just to see if it was possible to actually do. Although I know that Kimiota had done it, uh, although I didn't watch most of. I watched a little bit only. But anyway, I wanted to try it, and I wanted to try this one just to see if it was possible, and also I wanted to try it just to see if I could learn where there is birch, because the thing is that I know all the major locations for birch. You know, like Pleasant Valley, the ravine, the uh, forest in Ash Canyon. And then there's a few other places like Milton Basin, Marsh Ridge, um, Leak Inlet Forest has a forest, that sort of, there's places like that. And then I was trying to think like, well, what other places have birch? And I could think of a couple places that have like one or two trees and, and then that was it. And I couldn't really think where where else have I found birch bark. So doing challenges like these is a good excuse to learn areas of the map that you might not know. So I had forgotten, for example, that well in Mystery Lake I knew some areas like by the dam and plateau and stuff, so my trappers, but I'd forgotten that there was this little area that has a backpack. And there's birch there, and that gave me four birch box. And then there's another secluded area that has nothing except a corpse, and that also had five birch box. And I, I hadn't, I had been there before, but I just couldn't remember that I had birch there. So you pick up all these little locations, you you learn details that you gloss over before. Before this, be like, oh, there's birch, let's pick that up. Like you don't really think about it. It's just like seeing. Mushrooms or rose sips, you just grab them and you don't really think about it. So this is the same. Uh, so challenges like these are, are very good for those purposes. Kimiota's done a bunch of challenges like this and he always said that that's where he learned the most. So it's not, I think he had one where he could only eat plants, like any kind of plants. And that also made him learn where all the mushrooms were and stuff like that. So it's very good for that. So I didn't... I would say so far I have known where 80% of the bark is but there's been some places that I couldn't remember until I, until I got there. Oof. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry uh, Pixelated Peach, I was uh, going on a rant, <laughs> but yes. Um, uh, if you go hungry for a long period of time, I think it's 24 hours, but I haven't double checked that. Then your fatigue meter starts suffering. So you lose energy. Uh, it makes sense, kind of, right? Just think of it as if you, if you starved yourself for a whole day, your body starts burning like fat reserves or something, you know. It's kind of like that. Okay. So here there's definitely going to be some birch, up, so. but here is an example of an area where I don't remember where there is birch. I think I remember on the east side near the garage, there's a small area that has a few trees. I think there's also a few trees by the rabbit grove. And I think near the cabins that are close to the desolation point exit, I think they have a couple of trees too. Well that's it, I don't I can't think of any anywhere else. So I'm gonna see what I can find. Alright, I'm gonna go inside here though to check uh, what there is here if anything. Uh, there isn't really anything else. Uh, I can have a look out though to see if I see anything. I thought I saw a piece of coal, yeah. Yeah, Silent Clearing, that's the name. I couldn't remember the name of it. But yeah, Silent Clearing, I think, uh, has a little bit of birch. And I think the rabbit grow has birch, and I think the burnt down houses have birch. But not a lot. I think they only have, like, a few each. Let's find out.
Let's check in here. Hey, thanks, Shadow Place. Thank you. Nice to see you here. This oh, will come in handy. I guess that's it. Okay, I'm gonna get some uh, water, but I'm just gonna leave it here to warm up while I go do that. Be right back. All right. I am back, but I think I'm actually going to call it here before I continue because now we are on Coastal Highway and it's kind of like a big area to explore and I think I'm going to end it here. So let's put Fine Birch somewhere. Maybe Hammer. Right. Uh, I'll try mods one day. Yeah. I'm going to save this, go out and in again back in and then that's it I think so there it's saved so for what I remember we could, we're in coastal highway and we just need to find birch here so we are what did I write find birch maybe hammer too yeah I guess we could find a hammer to maybe make some tools hey Graffin how you doing nice to see you look at that founders <laughs> badge how you doing what? hey Yonko welcome uh, back and thank you so much for the subscription two years can you believe it amazing Thank you so much for the subscription, Yanko. <laughs> two years. Yeah, you're one of only two viewers that have a two-year subscription. That's insane. Thank you so much for your support, Yanko. Hope you're doing well. Uh, right, what time of day is it? All right, we could sleep and drink some teas. How am I doing with that? We got 11 of these and a bunch of teas. Yeah, I think we need to do that. I think we need to sleep in here before we head out. Uh, I already looted it, but I'm gonna sleep right here. I think it's it's uh, at least for a little bit. I don't know if we need full health recovery, but we're gonna do a little bit at least. Have you managed to catch a live stream? Even short. Been watching your videos for a while. You're one of the reasons I stopped playing Team and stuff. Oh, that's nice. I only realized lately that some people actually started playing The Long Dark because of my videos, which is of course lovely. I'm glad I got people into the game too, but I didn't realize there were any of those. So I just assumed everyone who watched me were people who already played it. But I'm glad you got into it and I hope you're enjoying the game. Oh, that's true, Graffin. That's true. If you combine them, that is 24. So there's three then. And Slick is the other one. Yeah, thank you. That's true, Graffin, isn't it? Yeah, so then it's three. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's see how many calories. How long can I sleep with this? Five hours. I think I want to sleep. I want to sleep the full amount. Uh, but I don't need. I don't think I need to use all my teas. Hey, silly Val, how you doing? I think we can do. You can do one more and sleep 10 hours, I think. Not 10, 7. I'm not going to sleep 10, I don't think. I don't think we need to, because we have enough health. We're going to sleep for... I will sleep for 8 hours. And we'll go from there. There we are. And we still recover health for another three hours. It's stormy outside. Have a drink. And then we're gonna do, I'm gonna do something you should never do, God, which is sleep soon. more while hungry. <laughs> but I'm actually going to gain health by, while doing it because of the birch. And now I don't stream my Nogoa run. Or well, maybe I could stream the last episode or something, but no, I, uh, that's all done offline. This is the birch one. Do one more. It sounds... I don't know if it's necessarily a blizzard out there. But it is windy. So I would like to wait it out. Really windy. 
All right, we're nearly full health again. Um, I'm tempted to go outside anyway. Let me have a look here. It's gonna be really cold. Is the only thing. Yeah, let's give it. Let's give it another hour. Can I repair anything, maybe? What is this? Oh, I have another one, that's why. These are not that great. Okay. Kind of, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. I'm in Coastal Highway right now. Hey, for, well, welcome in. Uh, thank you for joining the stream. I think I'm going to... Okay, I need a knife for this. Yes, yeah, anything I can break down while we wait? There is. Oh! This is hidden under here. Easy to miss. Of course, I can't use it, but... Let's break some stuff down while we wait. Got some wood. What are we doing with wood anyway? Okay. Break this down too. Okay, I'm gonna sleep one hour and then if it's still a blizzard, I'm gonna go out in the blizzard. Okay, seems to have ended. That was a matchy situation. Good. Alright. So I have some suspicions that there is because I had never really paid much attention to the birch here in Coastal Highway. In uh, Desolation Point, I don't think there's anything. But across the highway, I think there's a little bit of birch down here by the river. Living in a van, down by the river. And then I think there is a little bit up here in like the silent clearing or whatever it's called. I think there's on the Mystery Lake. And then we can go back to Pleasant Valley and there should be stuff there too. You that lantern emote. <laughs> <Need that lantern emote. laughs> Thank you, Graffin, for 200 bits. You should, yeah, get that lantern emote. <laughs> what? Still a blizzard? Oh well, we're gonna go anyway. Because I'm wa just waiting around doing nothing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head to the river. And then I'm going to follow it to the rabbit grove. Check this corpse that's down here. Maybe get a little bit cold, but it's alright. Piece of coal. You usually find one or two along the river. Actually, barely cold if I stay in cover. It looks like a piece of coal. Thank you, Graffin, for the bits, by the way. Okay, it's actually clearing up. The more cold. Yeah, it's clearing up. Fantastic. Alright. So, I let's warm up in the rabbit uh, grow hut a little bit. I'm not going to touch the carcasses right now. Alright, so I have never really paid any attention to whether it's birch or in Coastal Highway, if there even is birch. But I have a suspicion there'll be some down the road because we can find birch saplings. So I assume we can also find birch bark there, but not necessarily. And I think the clearing also has some. Let's see what we can find here, if anything. Um, we can check these. In case it's good clothing. Uh, let me just check something. I didn't go to... No. Thanks, Nania. <laughs> uh, we 
can sleep an hour just to warm up. <laughs> Better than passing time. All right. Now we're gonna have a look. <clears throat> All right, it's not even warm. Sorry, cold. Look at that. Six degrees plus. Oh, nice. Well, now we got time. We don't need to hurry anymore. Unless we see a wolf, of course. Uh, uh. Alright. Guess that means we're having this up. Okay, this carcass would be useful, but I don't need it right now. Although it is tempting, seeing as it's uh, still out. I should maybe do it. Let's get this. There's also a backpack here. Yeah, it's interloper. Yeah. I think I'm gonna wait to grab too many more carcasses until I get the um Oh uh, the knife. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. I can hear the bear, I think. Not sure actually if I can hear the bear. We need to be a bit careful because I have zero defense against the bear. Other than of course running away. <laughs> but over here down the if you follow this river, there's some birch saplings down where the bear cave is. So I'm thinking maybe there's some birch trees as well. I, I honestly have not paid attention to that. Like when I play on Interloper, I can tell you where all the major birch areas are. But every now and then you find a tree uh, that has one birch bark or two, you know, here and there. And they are they they are so small that you don't really think about it. You're like, oh, well, a birch bark, okay, you pick up and you don't really think about it because it's just like one or two. So those ones, I don't know what all of them are. I know a few. This is an excuse to learn those too. Bear around. Don't see the bear. And usually there's birch saplings there. Not today though. Right, I guess there's nothing. Don't see any birch trees. Is there any birch trees up here maybe? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Uh, the match is, um, you mean under the the box? I don't think I opened the box if I remember correctly. They are not always there because they're not guaranteed. I don't remember exactly <laughs> uh, what I did on the, in the episode. So I'm going to go up here to this plateau up there. I don't think there's birch bark up there, but uh, up there, there is a corpse, and that corpse can have the Polaroid, so I might as well go for that. I don't think there's any barge bark, though. Get this note. Which doesn't do anything, of course, but... Nobody needs this anymore. That's hoping I can put it there. Doesn't <laughs> seem like you can. What? Hey, Shaney. <laughs> thank you so much for the subscription. Hi. And thank you so much for the two month subscription. I appreciate that. How are you? I think I'm not going to run at all because I am not tired. How much water do I have? Not a lot. So I need to make some eventually. So up here, a lot of people don't go here because it's kind of remote. But this is at the edge of Coastal Highway. And if you go up here, you can usually find a uh, corpse or their carcass. I think you can summon a both. In which case, if there is a dead car, you should maybe grab it, because it's kind of remote to grab it. <clears throat> and then there's a backpack up here too. 
And let's check the backpack first. Because the backpack can have the Polaroid. That's the deer carcass, okay. Up here, I think it is. And here's the backpack. Let's see. No Polaroid, okay. So this is where you can find it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. And thank you for your kind words. Right, I think maybe I am gonna harvest this. Because I don't know when I'll come back here. I might do this. This because it's warm. And I want to take advantage of that. I don't think I'll be coming back here, so might as well do it. Now though, uh, let's see, how many torches do I have? One? All right. I need to be a bit careful because I smell. So I might have to make a fire here while it's still sunny out. I can do that right away when I get down here. And let's grab some torches. And then I'm going to check for the hammer as well. Which I haven't really been looking for. Well, I think I did miss the hammer at an earlier place, but it was more that I didn't need it at the time, so I left it behind. And then later I realized actually I should have picked up that hammer. Uh, only because it's nice to have, well, I guess it's nice to have the hatchet for a wolf encounter. But more, I would like to have the knife to grab guts and stuff faster. Alright, we're going to put on this to grab some torches. I think I want a few torches. I'm getting really good ones there. Sticks, yeah, put them on. Let's do that until we get a bad stick, a bad uh, torch. Okay, now I have to do one more because of the timer. Right, there we go. So I smell, but it's uh, I have fire. I didn't use a match to do that because of the sun. Although soon it's going to be dark, and I want to check most of the areas here. Mostly for uh, clothing, because there's still some clothing to be found. Oh, mostly it's good though. Mostly. I want to see also if I can find a hammer. And birch, of course. Here come Wolfie. How are you doing, Wolfie? Just, uh, you know, go about your day. Hey, Packabacker. How are you doing? Nice to see you. I'm good, hope you're well too. And then let's walk the dog, as it's called. You are not alone, I posted the proof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I can't remember that. Oh. Nothing interesting. Don't need that. Hmm. Let's get rid of this guy. Anything to grab here? Nah. Okay, I don't think there's any birch here either, but I'll, I'll check this area though. And we can also grab the deer hide and guts from this deer, seeing as we're right here next to it. But then the fire will go out. Oh, maple. Oh, there's a hidden drink here by the way. Uh, if you didn't know, it's I think it's always there. It's kind of hidden though, it's on this uh, slope here. I think it's on... Ah, oh, here it is, yeah. This drink. Yeah, it's one of the guaranteed items in the game. Ok, 
Okay, and then is that the carcass or is it a corpse? Let's see, it is a... Oops. Alright. Let's head inside then. And I think I'll continue seeing as it's still warm. Ah, tools. Remember to check the boats. Tools. Double scare. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna drop the guts in this cavern at the end here. I'll check the hammer after. Here. The only thing known about the previous inhabitants is that they were incredibly clumsy and dropped chocolate bars everywhere. <laughs> oh, you know, they had to go in a hurry. Uh, we don't, we're not gonna need this for anything. So, let's do that. Let's put the journal note. Uh, dear hide X2 and X2 guts in fishing camp. Was highway. Let's have a look around. <laughs> Wooden crates, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the inhabitants are all clones of each other. Let's see. Yeah. There isn't much really to find in, in this uh, these cabins, but this is actually a good base. I like this as a base in Coastal Highway because of the workbench that's here. Looks like we have rope and hammer. All right, we don't need a rope for anything. Uh, not yet, at least. Perfect. I just want to go back to the ravine. But we have the hammer. I'm just going to take the hammer with me then. I don't think I'm going to go into um, Desolation Point. There's not really anything for me there, unless there's a birch tree in there that I can't remember. Maybe there is, but... I don't remember there being any birch there. Even if there is, it's going to be very low. It's more to... I guess I could go for the stim. That I could do. Maybe I should do that, actually. Just to get the stim collected. Uh, that might be an idea to do. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do it. Just to get the stim. Let's keep going. Alright, so we have the hammer now, so we don't need any more of that stuff. But I'm gonna head to Desolation Point, and then I will check some of the areas over here on the way back. And I'm just gonna keep walking. The wolves are not much of an issue now, because I don't smell anymore. I guess I can take that. I don't have that many torches left, but... You can get attacked by wolves sometimes, if you're really unlucky. Uh, when that happens, when they run away, it takes a lot though. But if if they if they flee and they run straight at you, they usually just run through you. But it does happen uh, that they uh, bug out and attack you. <clears throat> you can be safe. I'm gonna check for the fire striker and also clothing in here. Uh, Levig, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So I think this is a pretty bad area for Birch. I think it's just... Um, 
I think, uh, I thought there would be birch by the river, but there wasn't. I think there is some birch by the silent clearing. I think it's called silent clearing. And I think that's it. I don't remember seeing any birch trees anywhere else. Maybe there's one or two by the burnt down cabins. And I don't remember seeing any birch at all in Desolation Point. But I suppose it's possible there's a tree or two. And I guess we could go there now that the weather is so good and warm. I suppose we could go there and grab the stim just to have that done and the matches too. Yeah. Stupid question. No such thing. Is Bleak Inlet map in story mode? No, it's not. Because I remember playing till two years ago and I don't remember it. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it does have Timberwolves though. And in story mode, episode 3, you also get Timberwolves. So maybe you're just confusing it with that. Also, it was released around the same time as episode 3. Okay, let's check in here. Um, wait, why, I, why is my activity feed messed up? Oh, whatever, as long as I can see the chat. All right, we got this, which this we don't really need, but we'll pick up. Book, mittens, that's not good either. Uh, there isn't much point in looting this, to be honest, because I can't eat any of this food anyway. I can't even use coffee because it gives me calories. So here we have the amazing coffee, but what can we do? Can't use it. This actually would be a good idea, a good challenge to do the uh, winter merchant thing, but I'm not going to do that, so... Uh, let's just keep looting. We'll grab toilet water as well. Uh, how much birch bark tea do I have? At the moment I only have three on me, but I can make another 11. So I should be fine recovering from another night's sleep or two. We should be alright. Uh, these can be used, because these do not use grant any calories. I guess they could be useful. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for thermal underwear, if you're looking for these and you can't find them, uh, check the bathtubs. They sometimes are in there. All right. Let's check out that corpse that's underneath. Uh, here. Oh, this might blow out. Just to see if he has a fire striker. I should go that way. Always go safe routes down when possible. There he is. Hehe, <laughs> he did have the fire striker. This is one of those locations where you can find it. So there's two guaranteed fire strikers in the game. One is in the in Broken Railroad in the ravine there. The other one is on the summit. Those are the only two places you guarantee to find it. And there's a few other places that tend to have them, but not always. It's probably tied into the loot tables, but I'm not sure. One of them is here. And then one of them is... The other one is the Lake Overlook Cave. And I think it's in the stairs in the dam. And I think there's some other ones that I don't remember. But anyway, let's see. 81%. How about that? Spin. So now we have uh, all of this. So that's good. Uh, we don't need that because we're not oh, going to read any of that. We can't read any books because we'll just. We need to be. I will the meat is full for that. Now we're actually starting to get cold. Let's check the misanthrope island because there's sometimes another thermal leggings there. Trying to remember if there's any more birch. Can I even see any birch from here maybe? I don't think there is much. 
I don't think we're gonna sleep here. I think we're gonna sleep as far as we can go. We should be uh, further in. I do think there's some birch up there behind the garage. It's the only place I could think of where there could be some. Oops. In the desolation point, I don't think there is any birch. It, it may be... Maybe by the bridge where there can be a moose. There could be a... There could be some birch trees there. I'm not sure. We'll find out. stuff either. Let's keep going. The wind is not strong enough. It's minus 10. So I haven't tested it yet, but there is a fairy around. I think it was actually once and only who first suggested it. That whether or not a torch blows out in wind is dependent on the wind chill. So is this wind chill here. And uh, I haven't been able to detect a pattern yet, a, a specific one, but I think he may be right because um, it tends to blow out when it reaches around minus 17 here. So when it's around minus 10, it doesn't blow out. Minus 12, it doesn't blow out. But then sometimes it blows out when it's like 15, 14, sometimes 19. It's possible that the wind is picking up and it's slowly getting cold and it reaches a point. I don't know yet. But uh, first I thought it was random, but I think it maybe is correct. Uh, it, it would make sense. Not sure though. But that's something you can't see unless you check here anyway, but it could give you an indication if, if that is a mechanic in the game, if that is how it works, you could theoretically go outside, see what the wind chill is, and then you go outside with the torch. Alright, let's see if we can find any clothing in here. Hey, Mace Pam Lunch, how are you doing? Hope your streams have been going well. We can't grab any of this, I'm not even going to check the fridge. It's actually kind of refreshing to go into a house and not loot all the containers because we don't need it. You could find water in there though. Isn't the wind chill number dependent on your gear, meaning that it would be hard to find a pattern? And uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, this wind proof bonus is plus four, so I, mm, I don't think so, but I could check that actually. It's a good question easy to test. I can figure that out for you. Uh, that was a good observation. Herbal tea, which you can't use. We'll take the book though. And who was it said they leave chocolate anyway? Uh, you would have to account for it, yes, if that is the case. Um, we can test that very quickly. It doesn't, it's not difficult. Let's see. Oh. Take the water. I guess that's it. Did I... Okay. Uh. Running out of torches there. Alright. I can check that quick. It's not difficult. So... Uh, I think it's just those giving that protection. Are these also? Oh, it's the outer layer, so it's these. So right now, it's minus 10 wind chill. If I take, say, these off, minus 9, minus 9, 10, it's going to be the same. Similarly, here, if I take these off, Take all of this off. Take everything off. Still minus nine. So the wind chill is not affected by the clothing you have on. Uh, 
so uh, I think I think it's just the same as this. The temperature and stuff doesn't. It, it just it's. I'm, I'm pretty sure that these numbers here, the temperature and wind chill, is just an indication of the world you're in. Uh, and then, it's it's basically this feels like it's the cumulative effect of your clothing. So it might be minus nine. I don't know the math, but I'm sure you can sit down and do it. But if it's minus nine and this gives plus two, then maybe this means it's effectively minus seven, right? But they don't bother doing all that stuff. So basically the, the accumulation of all of these things plus the clothing plus the effects is this number here feels like. That's my understanding of how that works. Uh, but the good part of that is that it's easy to check how the uh, wind affects fire because that's not going to change depending on your clothing. Yeah, step closer to find answers, exactly. All right, now it's... I don't want to run into the bear now, that would be bad. It's still warm, so I'm going to keep going. Alright, keep this keep going. Hey, nice to see you too, uh, Chriso89 UK. Hope you're doing well. Birch, which we don't need. Okay, here, maybe, maybe there's a birch tree over here. But I don't think so. Uh, found as Maze Pamela says, found some strange issue with my current stalker run. Attracts eight wolves all around Crystal Lake, bringing the moose home. <laughs> Then, even after sleeping eight hours, all wolves still around. Made a check. They only moved. They only moved. Is I looked directly at them. Monitored three of them, and I had to turn all the time to bring them going for the old place. Oh, I'm not sure I understood all of those details. Um, but yeah, they can bug out sometimes like that. Sometimes they spawn when you just look at the right time. Okay, so wolf is um, eating a rabbit. You enjoy that rabbit? Did you finish eating it already? Oh no, that's a different wolf. Oh, he's right there. There he is, he's eating. Any houses up? Nope. Someone told me that these houses are always destroyed on Interloper, and they are almost always destroyed. But I have had it happen that they're not destroyed. I have clips of it too. It's just extremely unlikely. I need to make a... Oh, ski jacket. Another rabbit down. I think this is the last of the torches almost. I need to make some more. Accidentally adopted six puppies here, yeah, exactly. I'm going to make a fire here. Only to um, to get some more torches. I wasn't gonna go to Desolation Point, but I might as well check it. I don't think there's any birch there. If there is, it's very, very little. Come on, little fire. Come but we on. might as well go check and get the steam while we're at it, and maybe the matches too. I'm not gonna go Perfect. in Scruffy's cave though, because that would be suicide. Uh, we can put some coal in because we're gonna get a bunch more coal now. I would say no, it's very cool. We might as well grab quite a few. Thank you for the follow with Room 373. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, hungry puppet. Can you imagine how they will be able to leave the house when it's wood because there's so moose and half bed to be cooked? Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. Oof, that was a bad one. Uh, put another one on. I'm gonna get so much coal soon that I don't really care. Uh, that was a bad one, but we'll take it. It's okay. That's good. A day I'm on, I think I'm close to day 10. We can check for you in a minute. And I am on day 10. So I have 10 days. 
Because I'm on day 11, I guess that would be then. Alright, let's go. So, there could be some bad I don't think there is. I don't think there's anything in... in Crumbling Highway either, from what I remember. I don't think there is. There's a deer. Uh, how many T's I got? I got right now, I got three T's and I can make another 11. So I have 14 T's. Basically allows me to heal up uh, a night and a half sleep. At the moment it's warm enough that I can walk at night, so I'm just going to do that. Take those, we can harvest them. Right, so we're gonna go through Crumbling Highway. So this connector region here, the Crumbling Highway, is the reason that the old streamer Shardul always went through Ravine first. So when he went, so Shardul is an old interloper player, he's not around anymore. Uh, he's, well, it's possible to reach him, but he's not active anymore, I should say. And he always used to come this way to forge in Desolation Point. Which actually I could do, actually. I could do that to make the tools. Yeah, let's actually do that. That's another reason to go. Since I'm going here anyway, I might as well do that, actually. Hmm. And I can get the knife and hatchet. But anyway, he used to go here and... Uh, I think this was before the torch and stone mechanic worked, or at least before that was discovered. So he would always go to the ravine to get the flare gun first, because then he could get through this area. Because there's two walls in this area, and sometimes they can really be in your way, like they're right, right in front of you and it's hard to get past them. So he would have the distress pistol just to get through them. But that was like almost four years ago. So, um, uh, it's not that bad anymore. <laughs> we can just have a torch. Wind chill is now minus 10. Let's check in here. I don't think there's any birch here at all. Uh, if so, it would be over here. Let's check the basement in case there's anything in the Harris basement. <clears throat> just shut up. Where did the run start? The run started in Pleasant Valley, I think it was. Yeah, it was Pleasant Valley. I'll catch up on chat in a bit. I'll take this if I'm gonna forge anyway. I'll take it. I only need eight scrap metal because I'm not gonna make arrowheads anyway. Check these. I'll take Ooh, it. Oh yes, we need those. We very interested to see a game mode slipped in on special occasions where all the loot and predator spawn tables have been basically blown up and completely randomized. There's an extra challenge to the players such as yourself that know the spawn chances of basically everything. Yeah, that's uh, that is an idea. Well, it sounds like it's getting windier. Hey, Kirk Steven, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Let's give... Uh... Oh, let's feel free to shout each other out, by the way. There's, there's a few streamers in here and I haven't shouted people out. I think anyone can do it, and not just mods. Let me just see here. Yeah, I think, I think that Interloper is the perfect difficulty in the game. It is very difficult, but not so difficult that it's frustrating or annoying. But I think it's a, it's a perfectly balanced difficulty, and it's great. But there are some people who play it even harder, uh, you know, with no Goa and stuff like that. Including me, I guess. Um, so, one option would be to make a difficulty above well, this stuff will come in handy uh interloper that you just call i guess you could just call it dead man which would have health regeneration off or maybe on very low and loot uh randomized and same with predator spawns and stuff like you say alternatively you don't need to make that you can just have a uh a custom setting maybe Maybe when you create a custom game, you can click an option that says, uh, says, uh, uh, you know, Voyager, Interloper, or Random, or something like that. I don't know. 
I wouldn't be opposed to the idea. Let me just get over here. To the cave we go. Minus 11. The mountain itself looks like a carnage has happened. Two bears and moose pelt, no guts on the ground. And six bloody bags on me. <laughs> oh, sometimes you need carnage to survive. It's when annoying when you don't one shot the deer. Yes, it is. So, um. Hold on. It's not easy. So, uh, just before I started streaming. Uh, I finished recording another interloper spawn tutorial, which is for Fallen Muskeg. And that interloper spawn tutorial is different from the other ones, because if you if you spawn in Fallen Muskeg, you can f make the bow really, really fast. So I did that, and then I thought, well, since we get the bow so quickly, I might as well do some hunting tutorial in this video. So I did that, and in one of the instances when I shot the deer, I, it looked to me like it was in the head, but it wasn't, and it ran away. Actually, two occasions. And then you gotta go find it, you know. So it, it is annoying. <laughs> when you get to high levels, when you get to like level 5 archery and stuff, it's very rare to miss because you can crouch so close and shoot him in the face. That does happen, of course. Yeah. It would be funny to slip in a micro patch without annoying it or put it, uh, announcing or putting it in the notes. Yeah, that it wouldn't be too surprising if they did that. Long live Barry! Make sure to feed him when you see him. <laughs> yeah, feed Barry, especially Larry. <laughs> Yeah, we can't hurt any berries in this run, which is the rabbits, if you didn't know. Though I guess I gotta feed them. And if you feed, see Larry, you need to give him extra. Uh, I wouldn't be if they did do something like that. Simply, I, I they probably wouldn't announce it. Um, in the beginning, when the game was in very early development, then they would give a lot more detail of things they changed because of the Milton mailbag. Uh, but after that, uh, they don't really do it. So they change things all the time without announcing it. They didn't even announce that Fluffy was in um, in the dam when they introduced Fluffy, so people died to her. And they change things all the time without saying in the patch notes, so that wouldn't be too surprising if they did that. Um, King's the Slime or Deep <laughs> Dry Joke or Pun? Okay. I'll think about a joke. So in the meantime, let's put that on the shelf. Um. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll say one that's uh, <laughs> um, when I think of one. Let's get down here. Should their car be nerfed? That kind of be Nah, I think I don't think so. Yeah, I agree. Uh, <laughs> the most would announce it. I, when I play PUBG, I read the patch notes carefully, and almost everything is in there. Every little detail. Yeah, it's the opposite, but it's okay. Uh, when I think of a good joke, I'll give you a sign. Yeah, I thought of a really bad one. Um, you know the thing that's really bad about winter? It's snow laughing matter. <laughs> Oof, that was bad. Um, are you gonna do note mode next? I don't think I'll ever do that. Uh, that's... Um, Uh, once explained it to me 
isn't that kind of like uh, I can't remember exactly the rules but he did explain it to me but I don't really I don't think I'll ever do anything like Nogoa again so I will continue the Nogoa run at the moment it's planned to be four seasons this is assuming that I survive and assuming things go well which they may not but assuming they do I'm planning four seasons for it now it could be more of course we'll, we'll have to see it depends on how popular it is too uh, but I don't think I'll do other things like that like uh, Maybe interloper, outerloper, I would maybe do that. Um, but I don't, I don't think I would do any kind of other version of Dead Man or Nogoa or As Dead Sleep survival mode uh, or anything like that because I don't think it's particularly fun. It's not that it's not doable, but I think that when you make the game so difficult that you have to play it like almost perfect to master it then sure it's really impressive and my hat goes off to people like once and perfect trip and others who, who try to make the game as hard as they possibly can but it, it it's not fun for me personally I don't by think. the way love the youtube series zach especially the nagoa one oh well lol lol <laughs> <laughs> While well, I'm dissing it. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Simbi, for the thousand bits. Did I also say thank you to uh, Kingstar? I think I did, right? Yeah. But thank you so much uh, for the bits. I really appreciate it. It does help the channel. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, it's hard to enjoy uh, if it's too difficult. If it's so punishing uh, that you don't enjoy it, then I don't really think it's worth playing. But it varies. Like people like Once and Only, for example. They pretty much only play uh, things like Nogoa because for them interlope is too easy. And you know I don't find uh, Nogoa particularly difficult either. It is definitely harder, of course, but I feel it takes away a lot of the fun parts of playing the long dock, which is why I think interlope is like a really well balanced difficulty. I think all of them are. All four difficulties are really good. Pilgrim for easy, is have it easy going. Voyager uh, or Stalker, two versions of the same difficulty. And then Interloper for Harbor. And custom for whatever else you want. But I don't think I'll ever do Nope mode. Uh, other than Nogoa, I will do Nogoa, but other than Nogoa, I don't think I'll ever do any kind of custom difficulty modes like that. I, can, I am up for doing some difficulty, uh, difficult Interloper things like this one, where you just birch tea which I mostly did just to see if it was possible to do uh, and also learn some more birch spawn I guess and uh, I will maybe do outer loper one day which if you don't know what that is uh, outer loper is the same as a normal interloper run except you're not allowed to go indoors except for caves okay no birch let's go to the lighthouse then and I don't think I'm going to do things unless it's in high demand. If I, if a lot of my subscribers or viewers said, you know, please do this challenge, and I really want to see you do this challenge, if there was a lot of interest for something, then sure, I would consider doing it. And in the meantime, I think I would prefer recommending other people. <laughs> Let's get rid of this guy. Are we sure to stick around from all these bad puns? Yeah, they are. They are very bad. I'm a, I'm a bit on the fence about it. Um, Pilgrim 500 days challenge. <laughs> I'm not going to take the book and charge. No, nah, I don't need it. Because in this challenge you can't read any books. I mean you can, but you need to have all the meters uh, outside of the red to read. And I'm going to be hungry pretty much all the time. So therefore there isn't much use in bringing the books with me. Uh, I'll learn for firewood, but I don't really need that many books. Pilgrim Fire and Day Challenge. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I once did a challenge, I never published it. I once did a challenge where I just wanted to see 
if you spawned on Voyager, how long could you survive without leaving your spawn point? And I spawned in the barn in Pleasant Valley and I never left it. I just stayed in the barn. And I think I survived six days or something like that. Just never leaving the spawn. So if I did 500 days pilgrim, I think I would just pass time all the time. I would just go one location, pass time until I have to eat and repeat and just do that slowly and <laughs> just see what happens. <laughs> because uh, there's, I think there's probably enough resources in the world on Pilgrim for you to do that. No corpse this time. All right, let's get the stim. No passing time. Hey, Longshot. How are you doing, Longshot Place? Nice to see you. 500 time, days, no passing time period. I don't think so. I would maybe be up for doing it on Stalker. And I am going to do a Stalker run or maybe series uh, with Stalker. So um, a lot of people have told me that the Stalker run I did, or the Stalker spawn I did, which I didn't release. Um, that video has like 700 views, even though it's not actually released. And a lot of people are telling me I should release it. It doesn't really matter that there's heavy breathing or whatever people don't really notice. So I should release it. Here's the sim. If you didn't know, it's always a Hope nobody needs this sim, anymore. sim, sim. So I might do that, but I'm going to do another one at some point and I'll do a Stalker gameplay series. Primarily with the purpose of getting all my skills to level 5. Because um, I don't... Um, I don't have that achievement. At least not on PC. So I'll do that one point. And then if it goes on long enough, then you know, maybe I'll do uh, 500 days, but we'll see. Pilgrim, I uh, suppose I would be up for playing it one day if there was an interest for it and just hang around in one region or something. If people wanted to see me play Pilgrim, uh, I can of course do it. As long as there's bullets here, not on this difficulty of course. But... Alright, steam it is. Let's also go and get the matches, and then we can do forging. And then we can go back. I don't see any birch here at all. I don't think there is any, to be honest. There is enough reason in the world on Pilgrim to reach Fire Days as a pacifist. Yeah, I am pretty sure you are right about that. <laughs> there is so much of it. I have a, um, a run where I gather all the resources in the world on Interloper and put them in one place. It's called Winter Merchant. I started doing it ages ago and I've done maybe 30% of the world. But I, these days I almost never have time to do it, so I haven't finished it. But I believe once and only and someone else, I forgot who, they already did that. They did, I started it first. But I never finished it and they, they did a variant of it. It was a little bit different from what I did, but it was more or less the same. I don't know what the end result was or anything. But that's something that would, I would like to do one day, but it's gonna take forever to do. One month later, Saxon's views video showing fire and days on. <laughs> if there was enough interest, uh, I would do it. I mean, I could do it. I could do a spawn video, you know, how to play the long dark on Pilgrim, which would effectively be, I suppose, a kind of beginner's video. Because uh, it would be really easy. I think I would just choose a region, like Coastal Highway or something. A lot of people like Coastal Highway. And then just play normally, yeah, something like that, I guess. And where I store the items, they are stored in um, in the garage. It was going to be in the rural store in Pleasant Valley to fill up the store, but I realized it wasn't big enough. So I switched to the garage. I can load up the run, but I don't 
think I'm in the base right now. I can check quickly once I enter here. I, I, I can see. Uh, let me just get inside and I can I can check quickly. Uh, but I don't think I'm there. <clears throat> All right, saving. Okay, so let me just quickly check. So it's I need to remove some. So so it's kind of buried. This one will be out soon. I finished it today. This is the full on Nuskeg walkthrough. Um, there we are. Gosh, when did I last play on this? 16th of March 2021. So it's over a year ago since I did it. Ash Canyon. Okay, so it's nowhere near then. There's no point loading it to show you because I'm not near the base. Another time I'll do it. Anyway. I'm not going to forge right now. I'm going to go pick up the matches first. And then I'll do it. I don't really need anything else there, so I'm just going to drop most of this. Let's take these and drop 20 of them. As long uh, as well as this. Right. Work a bit faster as well. Alright, so let's. Uh, before I forge, I just want to go get the matches in Hibernia Processing. The matches can be one in three places, so. Uh, I, uh, I'm making a video on all the guaranteed uh, match spawns in the game. So on Interloper, there are guaranteed steam spawns that are in specific locations and they only exist on Interloper, while on low difficulties they are not there, they are um, more or less randomly, except for some. But on matches are different, matches are the same across pretty much all difficulties, that is to say wood matches are. There are a couple of exceptions, I believe. Uh, so, one of them is here in Hibernia Processing. And most of the matches in the world, the wood matches, that are guaranteed, they are in specific locations. They are always the same location, like they are in a shelf in the farm basement in Pleasant Valley, or on the mantelpiece uh, in the Timberwolf Mountain hut, for example. Uh, but this is one of the exceptions where it can be different places. My fingers feel numb. Oops. Uh, it can yeah. be, as far as I know, it's one of three places. Let's check very quickly. When you come inside Hibernia Processing, it can be either on the left on a shelf, or it can be into the next room on uh, a very large piece of shelf. Or it can be on the desk by the computer. But let's see if it's in one of those three places today. Uh, hey, I just came. Why did you switch saves? Oh, that, I just switched saves to show a uh, different interloper challenge that I started years ago. But I haven't finished it. But there wasn't anything to it. Down at your family lives, Zach. And I'm needed just for PvP in different games. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll be on YouTube eventually. So. Okay. I got a Mackinaw from the sea. From the sea? You mean uh, by beachcombing? Oh, from the safe. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that would be... That's cool. Hey, welcome to the stage, old smash, but don't leave your friends behind for me. <laughs> okay, let's see where we are today. So, usually it's here, but it's not here. Okay, so if it's not here, then it can be over here. And it is over here. So there it is. If it's not here, then you'll find it. Over here. I think it'll be like this. Yeah. I think I can use right. this. Uh, again, there isn't really much to pick up here because we don't really need much of this. But there's a couple of bits and bulbs we can pick up. 
We can also get some... I suppose we could get some metal, but I don't think that would be necessary. Imagine from B, yeah, that would be crazy. Ah, no torch today. I'm gonna try something. I never tried this. Okay, now we know. Nah, I thought there would be flare if there wasn't a torch. I hadn't been up there before. That's a that's a good place. On lower difficulties, you can randomly find stims on that corpse. If you just loot that corpse, sometimes he has a stim on him. But not an interloper, of course. But we'll go to this secret place, though, yeah. Hidden loot. Not much here, though. I usually a bandage or something. I'll grab that. Ooh, wool socks. No, we can't take those. Uh, we'll check the safe also. Uh, we're not going to check that thing. Uh, pry bar. We shall just replace. Let's check this. You can find a bedroll up there, that's right. And that was like 44 or something. Forty six. Okay, forty six. And eleven or something. Yeah, 46, 11, and then what? Three. Here we go, hit. Oh, another one. Handy. Yeah, pry bow. Let's uh, sort that out. This is good, and this is good. Sort the rest out later. Alright, let's head back to the forge. And uh, I could grab some metal, but I don't really need it, I don't think. So I got one and there's some metal shelves there. I don't think we need more than that. I don't think so. Even if I do, I can just come back here. Oh, duh. oh shit. Okay. That's a new one. <laughs> Imagine now I find some secret loot I never knew was here. You know what? I never even looked down here before. It would be so funny if there was something down here. Like behind these planks or something. That would be... That would be really funny, but I don't think there is anything. It is weird though that this exists. I wonder if there is something behind these. I never looked. I think we we would be able to see it. Yeah, I think we would. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Interesting though. <clears throat> Only tea challenge. That's right. I pick only one calorie source challenge. Yeah, I guess. Hey, Killer Juna, thank you so much for the raid. Hope your own stream goes well. Or went well. Killer Juna, just like Kirk Steven, who was there earlier, is one of the people doing a challenge for me. How are you doing? Thank you for the raid and hope that uh, your run is going well. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? Alright, we're gonna go forward. Uh, next time I'm there, on a normal interlock run, I will check under those floorboards. Cool. <laughs> hey, not your history teacher, thank you for the follow. But then who is my history teacher? 
It was it your history teacher? You have chosen you referring to me. The correct answer is you. <laughs> have you ever gotten day five bow? Uh, no. It is possible to do. Assuming you find... Uh, in theory you can do it in about four and a half days. But you need to find the cured maple for that. In my... Um, yeah, in Milton, that's right. That's the only way I can uh, see you do that. I have, however... Um, I think I want to sleep. Hey, Conky, thank you. I think I'm actually going to sleep a bit for it to get light and then spend another match. There's a sleeper. Hey, Conky, thank you so much for the raid. And Conky is another great streamer, a very good player. Plus speedruns and stuff too. Uh, but yeah, in the Fallen Mask Egg walkthrough, which I'm releasing later, uh, I get the bow on day 8. So that's pretty fast. Uh, but in theory, you can get it as early as day 6, 6.5, I suppose. Uh, uh, faster than that requires that you find the Cured Maple in Milton. It's the only way I can see it happening. I'm going to sleep 2 hours. Thank you for the double back-to-back -back raid with Killer and Conker. <laughs> nice to see you all. We're having the England and the 9th century experience. <laughs> um, okay. So let's now... It should be light. <laughs> what? Yeah, it should be light now. So I'm going to break down some metal. I think this actually will be enough. Yeah, it will be. Thank you, Dan, for the subscription, for the full month subscription. Thank you so much, and great job finishing your interloper run. Sorry you died on day 21, <laughs> but that was great. And Irish MJ, thank you so much for the subscription too. Thank you so much with the Twitch try. What am I saying? Twitch Prime thing. Thank you so much. Okay, I don't think I need more than seven, or is it eight? Oh, it's eight, okay. Uh, is there a door or something I can harvest? There we go. Alright, there we go. Let's create. I initially wasn't going to forge at all in this run because it was kind of pointless, but then later I realized actually I do kind of need it. I wonder if I can drop uh, uh, it's not it's not essential. But it does help to harvest carcasses faster. So I'm going to do that. Go. <clears throat> hey Blades, how are you doing? Nice to see you too. Yeah, feel free to give shout outs to anyone, by the way. Uh, I used to think it was just mean mods thing to do it, but anyone can shout each other out, including yourself. I don't mind people shouting out themselves. I sometimes have to do it myself in the Phenons. Uh, <laughs> stream because he has a special command for me. Uh, a lot of streamers actually have that, including Blades, for YouTube and things. Uh, and then the yeah, yeah, feelings are like, so you just do it, you know. Um, yeah, feel free to shout each other out. That's bit hard for me to do. What's the affliction? If you mean this affliction here, that's hunger, extended hunger. If you go hungry for too long, you get this affliction. It drains your uh, stamina. Uh, my, uh, my water levels are a bit low. I'll do half a liter. Oh, it's actually not hot enough. Uh, it's going well, yeah. Uh, it's going quite well, I think. Uh, I wasn't going to go to Desolation Point at all, but I decided I might as well go ahead, get the matches, get the stim, and make my tools. So I'm going to do exactly that. I don't really need the hatchet unless I get attacked by a wolf, but the knife is handy. I need to drink. Alright, make this again. 
And then that one, the hard way, look, actually during a forge at this very forge. Oh, yeah, exhaustion, yeah, I see. Yeah, you only really see it in challenges that require long periods of starvation. Yeah, it, uh, I almost never see it. It's one of those rare afflictions. They are very rare. All right, we're going to make some more birch cheese. There was some cooking while doing it, I guess. That's 59 minutes. I don't think I need to recover birch here. I mean, health here. Let's put on some more coal. This is so I got so much of it. I make all of these. Just to have them. Yeah, that's it. But now I don't have much water, so now we need lots of water. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab some torches, only good ones, preferably. Wow. Come on. It was it said that you get better torches the hotter it is. That does not seem to be true. <laughs> That's alright. Hey Rock Golf, how are you doing? From the angle of the forge you must be at the Reich and that is exactly right. You are right about that. Delete game. Train? I think it's two days of starving, might be three, pretty sure it's two. You're talking about Conky the Affliction? Uh, I never tested it, but my understanding is that it's 24 hours. Oh, oh, Hype Train. Hype Train is close. Oh, I got a few seconds for that, so I don't think that. <laughs> I can't see it where I am. So. Funny, can't uh, read a book. If you're sleepy, you've got a forging a sledgehammer, hellfire forge. Yep, why not? Oh, that's a bad one. Let's put some more coal. We got so much coal, so... I want good torches only. Ah, that's good enough. That was a lot of sa sex torch disgust. That's why I have sack-approved torches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they need to be at least 20%, 25%. 30 is better. 30 is... 30 plus is what I'm looking for. Yeah, you try. Don't worry about that done. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, now we need more water. Uh, I'm just gonna keep forging, so to speak. Because I need more of it. I'll make... Actually, I made a mistake there because I have those tablets, so I'm gonna use them now. So let's do that. Uh, let's put on all these. We don't really need it, so we'll do it like this. I'll we'll take it, we'll do another two liter, and then we're going to use these. I rarely use these, but well. Yeah, you can re-harvest the bad ones, that's true. Alright. Uh, running low on health, so we should sleep soon. This pack is getting kind of heavy. As long as there's not a roar outside, we'll be fine. I am going to drink one tea. Just to slow this down a little bit while I travel a bit further. I think we have reached close to being able to sleep again. Yeah. Also, I'm very heavy. Is there anything I need to dump, actually? We don't need this. Uh, dump one of these. Torches will be dumped eventually. Uh, this will sort out later. We can take that with us now. I guess that's it. Okay, let's keep moving a bit. We'll sleep a bit later, not right now. 
I want to get to the mines or something like that. All right. I don't see a single bird showing desolation point, so I don't think we'll ever come back here on this challenge because it's pointless. So now we're going to go somewhere, we'll recover some health. And then we should go to Pleasant Valley to see if the birch has respawned, which seems likely. But I'm going to sleep first. It is getting morning though. Uh, I think we'll sleep... Uh, either in the mine or the Harris basement. I think probably the Harris basement. I'm not sure. <coughs> um, just because it's uh, further. I want to get out of here. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is optimization. So there's no point sleeping if I have a lot of health. And right now I don't have a lot of health or anything. But if I did do a 10 hour sleep with birch tea, I would maybe heal all the way up. But the lower health I am when I sleep, the more benefit I gain from the birch teas that I drink. That's kind of how I do it. Yeah, fog is no worries. Plus auto walk. But yeah, um, so there's a few videos coming out. I mean, if you're watching this in the future, then you can check them out on my channel. Anyway, um, Nogoa, the last episode of Nogoa is out soon. And then I have a video on crows, which is, uh, it's done, but I'm not happy with how I formulated myself a few times. So I want to change a little bit here and there before I release it. Oh, come on. There we go. And then I just finished recording the Fallen Muskeg video, which uh, will be out as well. And then I'm working on a video of all the stims and match spawns. It just takes a little while to get all the footage for that. I mean, I have footage of all the locations, but I want clean footage for the video where possible. And then after that, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> I should do a Black Rock Interloper spawn tutorial at some point. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I think that's probably the last thing I did. Okay. Uh, fog is the best, no wind and warm. Yeah, that's true. You're close to your 1k days on low celebration file. That's right. Um, on my main run, I have a load of like, landmarks around now. And we'll go there one day. <laughs> yeah, some days it, it depends. Like, I rarely get lost. But it does happen that sometimes I'm in a blizzard or fog and I say, oh, let's just do it. And then I'm not 100% sure where I am. If that does happen, I know what to look for to get my bearings. I just died because of fog. Or I should say because of my lack of skills never getting it from. Yeah, it's not easy. Fog and blizzards is something you should generally only traverse if you have to do it or because you know where to go. Hey, came into Congo and Mia. Hey Mia, how, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see everyone here. I think for the foreseeable future, whenever I stream, it will be this challenge. So I think this is gonna be my streaming challenge. And they will all go on YouTube as well. But uh, the episodes uh, will mostly be two streams put together for each. And whenever I stream, I'll be doing this until either I get bored of it uh, or I die. Or I think that this is enough. Unofficially, I guess the goal is 50 days, I suppose. It doesn't have to be. We'll, we'll see. In any case, uh, this is whenever you see me live in the foreseeable future, I'm probably going to be doing this. Uh, but we'll see if there's a special 
thing, I can do that too. That would be something fun too, to stream. And also it's less intense because I don't really hunt and do other complicated things, so it's a lot easier. <laughs> it's actually a lot easier for me to follow chat while doing this challenge. There's a lot of walking and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. A birch tree. A single birch tree. But no bark. Mm. So there is a birch tree here in uh, Desolation Point. Alright. And another two birch trees here. Three birch trees. Any bark at all? Anything? No? Dust? I don't see any birch bark at all, even though there are a couple of trees here. Um, Alright, so, okay, so there are birch trees here in Desolation Point. Just don't see any birch bark that goes with it. Which is effectively <laughs> as, if, as if there's nothing. Let's see, give me one second. Uh, how many birch bark trees do you need to recover health? It depends. Depends how you choose to do it. If you want to keep it going, you could effectively, if, if all you are missing is hunger, you could drink one tea every probably four hours and you will be okay. And I think you probably wouldn't lose much health at all. Uh, but I don't do it that way. I do it in bulk and you need... Well, now I'm cooking level two, so I get more calories for it. But I think you still need uh, at least eight teas. But because of the passing of time, because you get... Uh, you're no longer thirsty. I think you probably need close to nine. Or at least eight. <coughs> it's a wolf dressed up as a birch tree. Trees but never bark. Yeah. Can you eat trees? No, but you can eat birch. Need a vegetable peel to get to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, use the hatchet. Alright, uh, we're going to sleep either here or in the basement. We'll see what we do. What am I doing with wood? I don't have any coal at all because I used it or rather I dropped it. So I'm going to pick some up. And then I'll probably... S I actually might sleep at the end of this mine. I think that's probably easier. We'll see though. I'm still restoring condition though. So I'm still healing. About 2% or something. Because I'm uh, I'm losing two percent health per hour because of hunger and fatigue, but I'm gaining two and a half percent or so from the birch tea. But at the moment, this has uh, this is practically done now. So if we see, I've gone up two percent with that one tea, even though I'm losing health. I'll probably go up another percent, I think. Uh, we'll see. Maybe not. <clears throat> Silent version. <laughs> Oof. Grab a few. I told someone in chat that's possible to live on only birch bark before and then said it's not possible. Uh, ye chat of little faith in Blades' stream. They know not how to challenge, they know only how to dream. Let's see. Um, just link them to my video. <laughs> oh, Kimi Ota or Lenny's games, because they've done it too. It's actually someone else's chat, but I believe Kimmy. Yeah, that's right. Kimmy did it years ago, 
and there's a YouTuber called Lenny's Games who also did it. Uh, I have not seen them. I did watch Kimmy do it live when he did it, but I didn't watch the whole thing or anything. Uh, so I don't know if the rules are the same as mine, but I don't see that making a big difference. You know, if they killed bunnies, for example, to get pelts, well, what's the big deal? Who cares? The principle's the same. Those are the only two people I know of who have done it. Maybe others have done it, but I don't... Uh, I don't know. If you, if you can think of a challenge, Kimmy Otis usually <laughs> done it, so... Nice little poem, yeah? Sometimes. Usually they're very bad and cheesy, though. Yeah, no, Kimmy is, uh... I followed Kimmy for about three years now. Ish. <clears throat> I think we'll sleep. Yeah, oh, no, no. Yeah, I think we can go a bit further. Yeah, so I learned Interloper from a streamer called Shardul. I mention him all the time. He's not around anymore. Uh, he's inactive. Uh, if you search for his channel on Twitch, Shardul Gaming, uh, you won't find it. But if you do search for it, a few clips will come up. And if you click on those, you can actually access his channel. Uh, anyway, he taught me Interloper. And there's a lot of things that he taught me back then that I know now is actually not the best way to do it. But anyway, he, uh, he was great. I still speak to him sometimes, but not very often. Uh, he does sometimes return to streaming though, because he has a seasonal job, he works in concrete or something. So he sometimes appears and he streams for like a month or two and then he disappears for like a year. <coughs> anyway, he taught me how to play Interloper, so I was not particularly good at Interloper before I started watching Shardul. And I followed Shardul for four years or so. And then one day I said to him, like, oh thanks Shar, you know, I, I'm much better playing now because of you. And then he said, he said, no, I'm not, I'm not a good interloper player. He said, he said, if you want to see really good interloper players, you need to watch a player called Hadrian, who is still around, but he doesn't stream or make videos of the Long Dark anymore. But he is around in chat, especially in Athena's chat. Or someone called Kimiota, and I hadn't heard of either of them, so. Hadrian was inactive, so I didn't check him out. And then I went on Kimiota's stream and I was like, oh yeah, this guy, <laughs> this guy knows this stuff. And then I more or less watched Kimiota until I started streaming myself, and then it became, it was difficult to uh, find the time to watch Kimiota. But I still watch him sometimes. And also I have him partially to thank for the growth of the channel, because when I started streaming, he raided me with like 69 viewers or something, and and Ron sent some viewers my way after, and then I got affiliate in like three days or something like that. Uh, because I was active in Kimiota's chat, so I was active in the Long Dark Twitch community for almost two years. I'm gonna keep going actually. I was active in the Long Dark Twitch community for almost two years before I started streaming uh, and making videos. So when I started doing those things, uh, a lot of people already knew who I was, so it wasn't particularly difficult for them to find out where, what channel I was using and stuff. So that was nice. So people were very supportive. But that's something I always say about Long Dark. I mean, they're very inclusive, very supportive, and that goes for everyone. People are very good at raiding each other. They're good at shouting each other out, recommend each other, and also will drop into each other's streams and things. There's very, very little animosity. With like a few rare exceptions, you know, everyone gets on, uh, everyone's friendly, support each other. Uh, I try to be inclusive where possible. If I have a video that can include other people, I try to do it. It's not always possible though. Oh, yeah, it's a great community. Yeah, my point of that story was basically just I learned it from one player, then I learned even more from another player. And then I try to do it myself, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Shardul is, uh, was great. 
Kimio is very nice, I like him even more because he raids me once and I got no one not to. Got three cats. Ah, <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, Kimio is very nice. Sometimes he gets very absorbed in what he's doing, but he is very, very good and he knows uh, a lot about the game. I have spoken to him outside of the Long Dark. I never met him in person. Uh, but he he works in uh, bookbinding, and I had some questions about it for a personal project, and he helped he helped me out. So we spoke outside of the long door. He was very helpful with that. Oh, Hayden, is, yeah, he's very nice. He he has been in my stream, Hadrian, but not very often. You'll usually find Hadrian in the Phoenix stream. Uh, sometimes in Kimiota's stream, uh, I've seen him in once and only stream as well. So I think he, I think he retired from streaming and and YouTube in the long dark, and he's just uh, around as a viewer now. Uh, if you go to his channel, which I think is called Hadrian LP, he still has a lot of good YouTube videos. I haven't watched most of them, if I'm perfectly honest, uh, but uh, they seem really good from the ones I have watched. And uh, I don't think he's uploaded anything in like three years or something like that. I'm going to keep going a little bit, uh, but I need to sleep soon. I think I'm going to push it to Misanthrope Island and sleep there. It's going to be daylight soon though, but it's alright. Um... You should do the bear hugger challenge where every day you have to hug a bit of gold. Yeah, I could do it, but <laughs> uh, that's that's something that like Goon TV would would do. So you should check out Goon people if you haven't already. He's very fun. He does stuff like that. Well, I might need to make a fire here actually, because I might lose too much health. I think I am going to do that actually. Um. The TLD community is wonderful and supportive. On, I made so many friends. So yeah, it's very, very inclusive. And especially if you're active in each other's streams, then whenever someone needs more viewers or followers or to get the affiliate or whatever, it happens quickly. Oh, yeah. Getting affiliate uh, as a long dark oh, streamer is pretty easy if you are active in the chat because people just tune in very quickly. I'm going to heat one of these up. And uh, there's this waiter a little bit. I remember you showed up in my first room. So <laughs> yeah, sometimes I uh, just lurk and don't say anything because people sometimes get nervous when I'm in the chat. <laughs> but usually they get, they get relaxed very quickly. I never uh, intervene unless people ask for it. Like backseat, I mean. If you will ask for help, or if it's something small, sure, but I don't intervene in how people play. Adrian shows up in Alan August stream. Yeah, that I, I saw, that's really, really cool. It's a great Stellaris and Seer player. Oh, nice. You know, today I played Northern Lights, which I like to try and support. I think this will boost the game. Yeah, didn't you stream that slab, Pam? I think I saw you stream that the other day. It looks alright, is it any good? It blew my mind when I found out the shortcut in Tim Wolf Mountain for Hopeless Rescue. Then he taught it to me. Oh, you mean the one where you um, you go out of bounds, you mean, Conky? Yeah. It was trip rating for yeah, trip also is nice. <laughs> yeah. That TLD Twitch screen is all full of space like Conky. <laughs> Please. Hey, dead bug. I'm gonna wait a little bit here. Yeah. Just warm up. I can catch up in chat. People sound good nervous, yeah, like me, but I'm more comfortable with now. <laughs> I won't kick you. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be nervous with me, I don't judge. Uh, first one from LD. Uh, my first raid was from Kimiota, and then I don't remember. I think maybe once or Goon. I think it was Goon, I think. Like, you showed up my stream last month and helped me get my first back. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. <laughs> that's cool. I do have one question, do you pronounce the name Sack Not Fine or Sack Not Fane or something else? Uh, well, I mean, I didn't invent the name, so I don't know what the correct way is. 
but the way I say it is as if it's uh, like you're feigning, you know, when you you fake something or you feign something. So it's Sakna Fein. That's how I say it. So it's like a feign. Uh, but it's not a big deal. People say it wrong all the time and it doesn't matter. You can actually do a redeem. I think it's selective. If you type in exclamation point redeem pronouns, you get the streamer who pronounces it correct. And then you can hear it. Whereas I don't follow that knob. <laughs> ah, cool. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep going. And not die. <laughs> yeah, that's right, uh, Killer. I watched a little bit of uh, Dunn's video. So Dunn has finished uh, his Voyager run. And I watched the first 30 minutes. And also he said that I should uh, not judge his sack impression. Although I only saw him say one sentence. But uh, Dunn... <laughs> Uh, Dan did something funny though. Uh, hey Deadbug, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Oh, the pronounce didn't work. Oh, you need... To, um. yeah, I'll do it for you. And hello, Zachnathain. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And yes! <laughs> How did you know I was gonna name it? Uh, that clip is from a streamer called Lady underscore Undead. She's a very nice streamer. She's a variety streamer from Sweden. She's very, very nice, so you should check her out. She sometimes streams the long dot. And she... She pronounced it correctly. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, yeah, Dunn... Uh, <laughs> I, watched, uh, I watched maybe 30 minutes of his run. And what, what happened was he would find some corpses and then there were feathers on the ground. And then he looked down and he was like, feathers? I don't have time to pick those up. And then he kept moving. <laughs> and I just couldn't help but think that, you know, you could have just picked them up instead of saying them. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I haven't watched, uh, I haven't watched the rest of that though. I only watched the first. 30 minutes or something like that. But I thought that was pretty funny. Instead of just picking up the feathers, you said, I don't have time to pick up these feathers. <laughs> Oof. It wasn't dumb, it was funny. I've done stuff like that too. Where I was like, ah, I'm not gonna pick this up. And then, oh, okay, I guess I am picking this up. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs feathers anyway? It's gonna take a long time to go through the footage. For the first couple of videos I'm making about those things, um, I don't need to see the whole run. Uh, I'm looking for something specific in the run, so I don't need to see everything that happens. Uh, oh, I don't need them. <laughs> um, but eventually I have to watch through them. Uh, okay, I think we have pushed this long enough. It's now daytime as well. Uh, I could go to the garage, but I think we'll leave doing Jesus that. I don't cold. need the hammer anymore, actually. I could leave that here. Unless I want to make more tools, which I don't think is going to be necessary. I could leave the hammer here. There's going to be a series. Yeah, it's. Uh, I can't say too much about it. Um, until everyone is done. When everyone is done, then it's not a big deal if people find out. But it's gonna be... It depends on how I choose to approach it. But it'll be, it will be at least three videos that I can picture. But it will probably be more than that. It, it depends a bit on how long it takes to make and how I choose to approach it. <laughs> Anyway, I watched your first Nago part. This was funny. Let's go random. What's the fun in it either? Oh, Blue Kinlet. Yeah, I didn't expect to 
this phony flick in like. So How many channels do I need to donate to keep that part of your YouTube? How many channels do I need to donate to keep that part out of YouTube? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go through those things and comment on stuff like that unless people want me to. Because I thought that was, uh, that was funny. But now if you don't want me to point that out in any videos, then I won't point it out. Except in this one, which is the one going on YouTube. <laughs> You don't need to donate anything. Well, maybe a thousand dollars and I'll look the other way. <laughs> uh, I think we have reached the end of this, so I need to uh, drink and recover. So let's start doing that. So we have 13. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a recovery here. Sleep 10 hours. I think we'll just do that. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, no worries, so late. I'm just kidding, please use your <laughs> Maybe a blooper reel, yeah, that'd be fun. I, that requires I watch through all of it in detail, which I will do, but that's gonna take a long time. Okay, okay, now we need to do this. So I think I can manage with seven, but it's very difficult. Let's see. Because of the 10 extra calories I get from from the cooking level maybe it will be enough what are we up to now was that 5 7 10 oh, that was way more than 5 I think that was 7 yeah but I don't think that's enough I should have actually in hindsight I should have chosen efficient machine. That was a mistake. I realized that later. But one of my uh, feats should have been efficient machine. Uh, at first, I thought efficient machine was a pointless feat because it uh, it you consume ten percent less calories. I thought, well, I'm going to starve, so who cares? But it also affects sleep, and I didn't think of that. So you burn less calories in your sleep. So if I had that feet on, I effectively probably would have been able to sleep with one less tea per night. And that's, that's a big deal, but I didn't think of it. So now instead I have to drink an extra tea. All right, anyway, it is what it is. I don't sleep 10 hours, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be night, so. I was a survival school series. Can't stop to make fun of Ronald Coyne's dope ski jacket. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I think I'm going to sleep until I'm fully rested, even if it's going to be night. Yeah, I'm going to make another coaching series. I don't know when exactly. I have gotten a few submissions, but not like a lot, but I've gotten a few. So I will make one eventually again. I don't know what, exactly when I'll do it, though. All right, so we are uh, almost fully healed. We are at 86 and we are probably going to go up to at least 90 something. Let me do a little bit of inventory management here because I don't think I need this. We can just harvest this to the right way. Let's sort out this. Uh, I don't need all this stuff, but I'll just take it with for now. All right, yes, this stuff. Don't know if I want to do that now, though. But these we don't need. And this, this one's worse, so we can leave it. That's better. Uh, I'll just leave it, who cares? Um, these are worse and worse. These are worse, and these I want to use. We'll take those with, and then that's better for the moment. And I don't need this anymore unless I want to forge more. So we can leave that. And I guess that's it. Let's put a note. Some misc clothing and hammer. Not to miss and throw. Alright, it's getting dark, but that's, that is what it is. Let's go. Hey, 
look at that. So I think, I'm not sure, but I think there is some birch up, like up here somewhere. I need to go check that, and I want to get the matches too. Let's not get eaten by a bear. The sun is setting. Look at this color, look at that. Look at this. That is amazing. I would play the game for just this. That is incredible. I'm still amazed at how they can do this with the watercolor art style they have. And it's all directional as well. Look at that. That's insane. The real master of this is the weather. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, where was I? Just yeah. go in here. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit behind on chatter, so uh, <laughs> the kind of. Uh, Hey Soplo, nice to see you. Gotta run unfortunately, but I have a great stream, so I have a great weekend. Thank you, Deadbug, and hope you do too. It's okay, let's have go around. So. Guac, like guacamole, I guess. The dog. The steaks are made of all of a mistake. Yeah, I could do that, of course. Uh, who needs well fed when you have birch? Exactly. Yeah, it is a bit uh, blades. It's it's really strong. I mean, I went from 21% to 87 in one night's sleep, and I'm still going to recover for another two hours. And I'll recover something like 4%. I think I'll, I'll get up to like 93, 94. <clears throat> hey, Vithoff, how are you doing? I don't really need anything... In um, in the garage, but I'm just gonna go through it. And I'm, oh. I'm not gonna check all the things. Hey, thank you, Soplo, for the bits, for the 45 bits. Wolfie. Bye, Wolf. Um, what about the weather changing crows? I know what the crows do now. I know. Because, well, I researched it. And I spoke to Hintland about it. So I have a video about it. That video is ready. But there were a few things in that video I thought I could phrase better, so I'm changing some of the stuff in it. But if you want to see it, um, you can uh, become a Patreon. So the, the Flare Patreons have early access to the video. It's already been on my Discord for a while. Regular Patreons will also see it early at some point when it's done. Until then, I'm not going to say anything about it. <laughs> the game and Horizon are the most beautiful games. Horizon is a great game. It's a really great game. I've been I've been wanting to play that game again. I this really liked it. It was fantastic. Um, it's crazy to the fact that are enough to both. Uh, Offset both ex exhaustion and harmony. Yeah, that's right. Barely though, but they, they do. Coast to Fair though. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I assumed it was Horizon Zero Dawn that you meant. I played it. Hope nobody needs this anymore. And it was on PlayStation though. It was on PlayStation, but I thought it was really cool. It was a great concept. I really liked the story, but the story was fantastic. And the uh, gameplay with the robots and stuff was just so cool. I got pretty good at it at the end, but I have not played it since that one time. I just haven't had the time to play it. I would like to play it again, and I haven't played Forbidden West 
Uh, I would like to, but I, I just haven't had the chance. Okay, let's make sure we don't run into the bear, because if... Oh, okay, well. Let's see if we can find any birch. Uh, let's see if we can get up this way. Let's also get the bear to go that way. And I want to see if I can get up this way. I think you can. There we are. You go that way, bear. I don't want to have to deal with you. Yeah, that's right, Gino. I believe you are correct about that. And how are you doing? Really sorry, I was just pulling your leg, but we're all looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now we got it sorted. There are only a couple of minor details about the crows that I don't know how it works, but those details are so minor that they don't make any difference. And they are pretty easy to find out if we really wanted to crack it. Okay, I don't see any birch here at all, so I don't think there is any. Let's continue then. Um, Horizon Zero, The Last of Us, Long Dark, three games. Yeah, The Last of Us is phenomenal. The Last of Us, especially The Last of Us 1, is very, very good. 10 out of 10, one of the best games I've ever played. That's something I also have considered playing for YouTube. Uh, and I really liked The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, but a lot of people didn't. I understand why people don't like it. Uh, but I'm I'm someone when I play games, especially complicated games with stories, uh, I, I tend to think very big picture, something I do generally in life as well, whenever I learn things. I tend to think very holistically as like what's the larger point of things. And Horizon, no sorry, Last of Us Part 2 for me was like, uh, you had to think about the theme of the game, which for me was consequences. And to me, I found it very fascinating. So I really liked it. No Bircher, but a lot of people didn't. And that's okay, of course. Um, let's see. Like what do you do for a living? No, that's okay. I say that in a lot of videos. I'm a, I'm a professor. I'm a psychology professor. Here too. I'm not going to take the rope up there, that's too much energy. We'll go around. I'm not going to check the trailer, we don't really need anything from there. Does sprinting up here affect your chance of sprain? Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, exactly, so. Let's see, is there any bear? Not right now. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way around. There's going to be a wolf here, though. Uh, I haven't checked it, Armor Sangre, but uh, I do know that you burn more calories uphill. And I do know that you have sprain risk on a hill, regardless of whether you go up or down. So it will make sense, yes. Meantime, I just used a piece of experience conducted by a psychologist. But that's right, Killer Tuna. I don't see any barge at all. Well, let's have a look at the silent clearing. I think it's called silent clearing. Okay, minus four, if that's the case. Hmm. There's usually a wolf right here. No. Okay, let's check out the silent clearing for birch. All right, so here we are in silent clearing. I believe that's what it's called, and I don't see any birch at all. So, no. Is there any maybe near the town? <laughs> yeah, you run. Go away. Anyway, 
that so far I have not found a single birch tree in Coastal Highway. Then you can expect outcome of your experiment till you is starting point you choose to determine the way you look up our players at. Um, uh, I can't really comment on that, but the um, I don't think the video is going to be out until the autumn somewhere uh, because of one at least one of the videos I'm doing, maybe two, require a lot of analysis and editing. And surprisingly, one of the ways that I do it, which is necessary to, for it to be done that way. Uh, the computer really struggles to do it, so progress is very slow. For the veterans, I've only done one third of the players so far. It, t it takes a while to do. Uh, but it's interesting though. So it's going to take a while before I'm happy to show something until it's good enough, I guess. So I don't think it will be out until autumn. That almost looked like he didn't care, but he did. Uh, we can go in here and get the matches. By the way, if you didn't know, the wolves can run up the stairs in the tower. Don't try and test it, because you could die. <laughs> it has happened to me, I've done it just for the fun of it. I went to the top, the wolf were following me, I aimed a rock into the air. And he ran all the way up there. I don't see any birch at all. Uh, but yeah, it's going to take a while to make the video about the different experiments. Uh, but I will let you know when it's coming out. People who are uh, Patreons will be able to see it early. And people who are in it will also be able to see it early. Which is only fair. These matches are guaranteed if you didn't know. So these are the only guaranteed matches in Coastal Highway as far as I know. No, I don't even need anything else. Let's go. Um, they can run out of stairs. Yeah, they can. Timber wolves can do it as well, but they don't usually do it for some reason. But wolves can, as long as they get the pathing right. If they learn doors, yeah, like the Jurassic Park Velociraptors. That's why if they learned... <laughs> if they learned how to figure out doors, you'd have to change the name of the game to the Long Dork. I have a week. <laughs> I think I took condition loss when I made that joke. Where's my condition actually? 91. I don't think I've been to this mine yet. So I can get another stim here. Mm. Yeah, exactly that. All right, we're gonna go through the mine here. So in this mine, the connector cave between Coastal Highway and Pleasant Valley, uh, there is a guaranteed stim. This is typically considered the Coastal Highway stim. It's not technically in Coastal Highway, it's in the connector mine, but it doesn't make any difference really. Uh, so this usually we count this as the Coastal Highway one. It will be in one of three locations. And I'll show you all three. And we'll find them in one, one of those three. The first one is right here where we are now. 
you approach this green box that's right here and then you think oh there's no steam here and then all you need to do is look behind it and it will be right there so that's one and the other one is down here by uh i'm not sure which is first of the two i think it's the room first let's do that first before i check chat or anything yeah, so this is the second location it can be. It can be on the shelf here next to a first aid kit. Cool. And it would be, uh, I believe it lays here. I don't remember exactly which shelf it's on. Uh, uh, one of these places, it will lay here. Thank you for the follow, Furry Gamer. 45, 36. And then the third place it can be, which is which is on a little ledge which can also have rifle ammo if you go on lower difficulties uh, and usually also tools let's grab one or two of these all right so the third place it can be is it seems like it's going to be there now so let me show you where that is Do, 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 do. I don't think we need to open any of this stuff. I might as well. I'll check the chat after I have finished it. explaining the stim. Leave the rest, we don't need it. <clears throat> Here we are. This is the split road. And the road you can take is to the right. That leads down the stairs into a little atrium, right? All you can do is take the left road, I think. Or is that later? Uh, okay, that's later. It's not this one. I think... Uh, it's, I don't always remember the direction of the rooms. I think I'm thinking of it reverse. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm thinking of it backwards. Yeah, so this is the third place here. It's up there, where that green box is. Right there. So, to get there, you go up the stairs on your way out. And uh, you can't cross here, unless you're being really creative. You can see there what I'm talking about. Instead you have to go around here. And then you come out to this junction. And up here on the left, basically upwards, is always out. So you go upwards or downwards. Uh, and it's out. What you want to do is take a left here. And then you come down here. And you'll come to a little ledge where there is a box and a stim. And it will always be in one of those three locations. So now here it is. This is the stim. I drink almost anything about now. This is the stim. On lower difficulties, there's very often rifle rounds and stuff here too, and tools also you can find, like uh, heavy tools and things. Uh, if you come from Pleasant Valley, of course, uh, you just do do it in reverse order. Uh, it's actually quite easy, easier the other way, because when you come to this junction here from Pleasant Valley, you just take a left, check the stim, and then you hop down, and that's it. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, that's the stim location in this area. I can check some chat now while I walk some more. I think the torch is kind of... It's like I'm going to my interloper day 24. Okay, we're going to go check for Birch, by the way. Uh, Interloper Day 24, I just forged arrows, can wait to get a uh, bow on my hand, so just need to say bye, we'll catch you on YouTube, hope to hear video, uh, to see the video there. Uh, have a nice run full of birches, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Blades says, uh, Sosaka, I have a TLD mystery for you, I had a lost and found box up here about 15 days into a new run today. Okay, I'd only started the run yesterday. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I assume that happened because something you looted, let me guess, was what was in there. Was it like a torch or a cattail head or something? Because uh, I'm guessing what happened is that the item probably fell through the world. And then uh, it, the, the game replaced it in there, probably. But I don't know, I don't know for sure that that's what happened, but that would be my guess. Be my guess, be my guess. Um, 
That's my guess. We don't remember which show fun. <laughs> Love your PUBG video. Thank you. Thank you for that. I, I really like that. I spent a little bit of time on that. I like making action movies of the Norwegian idiots. <laughs> I finally be able to catch you on your streams. It's hard since I'm in the UK. Ah, right. UK is great. Uh, what's something interesting you've discovered in your research about gaming psychology? Uh, there's lots of... Uh, I like uh, things like language. People learn a lot of language from it. So people can learn English especially. Well, it can be any language, but English especially through video games. But it only works if the game is catered for dialogue. So like, you don't learn much English from playing Call of Duty, but you will learn a lot of English from playing Skyrim, for example. I love this game, but it stresses me out to play something. Any advice? Uh, well, you could gimmick you could play on Pilgrim. Uh, that and or custom and put the wildlife to passive, so then you won't ever be ambushed by them. And uh, that's one thing you could do, for example. Yeah, if you don't want to do that, then just learn one region at a time. Learn where things are. Learn where animals are. And try and think of the animals as robots, like in Horizon, <laughs> um, that work certain ways. Try and figure out how they work. Maybe let them attack you just once, just to see what happens, how it works. Not on your main run though, but on a test run. Uh, whenever TLD makes updates and cause stuff to be messed up, they give a lost and found. It seems to always be torches. Yeah, torches or um, cattail heads and stuff. I have had other things in there too. I have had, quote, real items in there too. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head to the birch forest because I want to see if the birch has respawned. And then we're gonna go summit. Uh, well, actually, we're gonna go Ash Canyon. Actually, we have to go to the gold mine again because I forgot to pick up the wolf jacket, the wolf hide there. So we have to go there again. I'll do that later, though. <coughs> I need to make more torches soon. I need to make a fire soon. Alright, let's see if some birch has respawned. No moose, please. Alright, let's uh, scour the ground for birch. If you see any that I miss, feel free to shout out, because I sometimes do miss them. I don't see any here though. Um. Might take advantage of this energy and climb the rope. sticks I'll check chat a bit later I'm looking for birch right now I do need to make a fire soon I don't see any actually so far that's one oh it's low on yeah, long Let's be careful with the bear as well. And the... It doesn't seem like it has respawned much. But some of the other stuff did respawn. Okay, I need to make a fire soon here. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Hmm. 
there's not a lot here. Let's make a little fire soon so we don't... I need some more torches anyway. I think it's what you said, Blades. I think an item just fell through the, the world and that's it. Let's get some good torches. Yeah, free container into the ice cave. Yeah, but you can't use the container though. <laughs> you can only take put things you can take things out of the lost and found container. You can't actually put things in it. Yeah, if you're still alive you're doing it right, that's correct. Yeah, no you can't, it's locked. They will always say it's zero. Once you take things out, you can't put it back in. And once you take everything out, it will despawn. So the only reason I had one in my main run is because I just hadn't uh, taken everything out yet. Put two, two of these on. Uh, enough to be a bookworm again. Well done with this challenge. Interesting one. Thanks, Killer. I mean, Tuna. <laughs> 13 sims is a lot. Uh, I'm gonna head to, I think, the bunker next to the rope and then I'm gonna call it that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna continue, but I would like to see if there's more birds somewhere. Also, let's make one. We have enough to make one. So. I don't think the bear will come running. I can do this though. Oops. Alright, let's see if there's any more. But yeah. There's one. I'm not gonna check the little mini spot that's near the uh River, that's pointless. Well, there's very little that has spawned. Is that a bear? No. So low. So there were some. I went somewhere earlier. I can't. Oh yeah, the ravine. I was in the ravine, and some of the stuff had respawned. So I figured, then probably it's all respawned here too. But actually, there's not a lot. But we'll have a thorough look. Um, see any here? There's quite a few. I did when I was the last time. Also, I didn't have much gear, so I got cold quickly, and there was the bear around. So I didn't check everywhere. I checked most of the forest, but not all of it. I'm being a bit more thorough now. I suppose there could have been something missed, and that has prevented a full respawn, maybe. Minus twelve wind. There's the bear. I've seen him. I see another one over here. There's 12. I'll uh, catch up and chat after just uh, scouring for.
like taking us a little break now and then just to see if I can hear the bear if maybe I just missed him. I don't see him anywhere. If he is around, then he's being quite stealthy. I think we're near the end of this. Oof, Jesus. That <laughs> scared me. There was like. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't imagine things. There was like a little trail that to me looked like a bear. And then I thought, oh, I scared myself, but then here he is. He is... Exactly. Oh, did he go and sleep? I think he's gone to sleep, yeah. Alright. And here he is. Sure he's in his little den. Coming out now. Alright, I'm out of here. I need to get to the stress pistol actually, because that's my only defense against that. Okay, let's make another fire a little bit further up. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, okay, I missed some chat stuff here while I was doing this, so let's see. Uh, you're doing a stream with Long Dog Forever soon on COP, so that's awesome. Best of luck with that. Yeah, it's quite low light for the bar, that's true. Gunning is currently playing on Tom, and maybe interesting you start in September, so he's still cool. figuring out the details. Is that the one he posted oh in, uh, in Facebook about, like, you can only use crafted items or something like that? That seemed okay. Uh, I've seen similar challenges before. I don't think I'm going to do many more tournaments because it's very difficult for me to find uh, streaming times and to invest in them. So I don't think uh, it's unlikely I'm going to sign up for more tournaments unless it's something I can do in one stream because then I can... Um, like a speed run or something, but then I can do it in one go. If it's something longer than that, it's quite difficult for me to invest time in. We know if in Birch Park responds. No, I don't actually, uh, but I think it's something like a week or five days. I'm trying to figure it out actually. I never looked into it because it's not something I go around testing. But I think it's something like five to seven days. A new one. Captain Look. <laughs> uh, yes, Blades, that's what I was thinking. It, it's it's very similar to the self-reliance challenge. Uh, there are some differences, um, but it's, it's similar. Self-reliance challenge is basically that you have to craft all the clothing you can whenever you enter a region, and then you ditch it when you go to a new region and make it again, it's something like that. I can't remember the exact details. I think I'm gonna just ignore the cold because I'm not far from the <coughs> from the bunker. Ah, that's Reborn Traveler. That's, uh, that's right, yeah. South, yeah, that's right, sorry. Reborn Challenge. That's, I am. Um, self reliance channels that's uh is that the one where you can't uh, I can't remember exactly maybe you can describe it but I, I don't do most of them I just see other people do it self reliance is so I have 50 days no hacks or no birch tree no cattails no old food no stone kit oh that's it yeah 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 that's it yeah so it's similar to that it's not bad though, uh, you know, the, the gun tech challenge is, is not bad, it's fun to do. But uh, I've done pacifist challenge where I went 50 days without hurting an animal and now I'm doing 50 days birch tea. Um, 
and I, and I don't know go as off that everything else seems kind of easy so there's different variants of the same challenge but there are some challenges that are quite fun though that one or the self-reliance challenge they're, they're quite fun they're quite different I don't think I'm gonna do it though the only challenge other than this one I've seen that I think maybe I'll do one day is probably outer loper which is where you can not go indoors. All right, see you, uh, Emma Sangra. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, on the count of a J man. Hey, Long Dark Forever, nice to see you. Yeah, I'm uh, going to call it very soon, Pam, so you're not missing out. But thank you so much for, for being here. I'm going to call it now when I get indoors. Just waiting for a save point. And then I think I'll have enough energy to climb the rope. Maybe I'll sleep an hour. We'll see. I didn't really count how much I got there. Yeah. I think we should be able to climb with this energy. I think that's it for this stream. I went a little bit longer than I first thought maybe I would, but uh, it went well. We went to Desolation Point. I now know that there are a couple trees in Desolation Point, but there's no birch bark. And I did not find a single birch bark in Coastal Highway. If it is there, it's some remote tree somewhere. I didn't see anything. So I don't think I'm gonna go back that way ever in this run, except to pick up maybe the uh, the hide I left behind. I guess that's it. Uh, so now I've got another one I'm going to do next time is I'm going to go back to Team Wolf Mountain because I haven't been to the summit because I didn't have the hacksaw last time. And then uh, I got Ash Canyon again because I want to check the birch forest there. And also I forgot to pick up a hide I left in the mine. I don't think we'll ever go to Blackrock in this run, but I will go in the connector between Team Wolf and Blackrock because there is a wolf carcass in there. So I'll probably do that. But I don't think I'll go into Blackrock itself. I do need to go to Hush River Valley at some point to see what birch there is there. And at some point, Broken Railroad. But probably what we're going to do now Team Wolf Mountain, a little bit of birch here, Ash Canyon, hopefully lots of birch, get the hide, do summit, get the carcass, I guess check for birch here again. And then we'll probably go to Ravine again. And then Fallen Muskeg, Mountain Town, Hush River, Broken Railroad, Bleak Inlet, and then we'll figure out some route or routine or something, I guess. We'll see. Uh, but let's see. How many did I pick up, actually? I picked up 11. So I have uh, 6 plus 5. So I have 11 T's total. That's all right. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.